more dope. Hello and welcome to Lore Dump. <laughs> this is the show where a uh, someone who doesn't know anything about a game franchise or property is taken through the story. I am said hapless fool. <laughs> um, <laughs> My name is Neil. Is this the king and his um, I, uh, I, I, I'm delighted to bring you on board. If this is the first one, I recommend you go right the way back to the start. <laughs> I am joined by the man who has the pleasure of taking us through this journey. Hi, Please. hi. Uh, and our gracious host, Monty Zander. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we are on Kingdom Hearts 3 Part 2. We initially planned this to be one episode. Yeah, um, we are halfway through the game and I believe the episode is going to be three plus hours for Part 1. So yeah. we are on Part 2 now. Chase. Remember when we were introducing Part 1 and we said, oh, it's the final part. And then halfway through recording it, we went, this isn't going to be one part. No. Oh no. no. So we uh, have we it's have, a blur. We, it really is. <laughs> we have If you're catching up, we have just finished the last of the Disney Worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is apparently halfway through the game. So Chase I think it depends on how long you're taking. I would call it about halfway through because I think you can just blast through the Disney Worlds. Some people might call it two thirds. Needless to say, there's a fair decent chunk remaining. Okay. And at least in terms of my script. We are 15 pages into 32 of Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Halfway. So, halfway through my script, at least, maybe that's just that I did a lot of describing in the latter half of this game. Well, I find that with the... Uh, it's Monty speaking, hello. Um, <laughs> I, I, I find that with the Disney stuff, we question a lot more than we do when it comes down to actual basic Kingdom Hearts shit. I know, which is hysterical. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so we should be good. But so, so, Chase, very, very, very quickly... Yeah. Couple of sentences tops. What just happened? We, Mainly because I'm seven beers deep and I've forgotten. <laughs> we have just left San Francisco. Repliku is there. That's all you need to know. We are now back in the gummy ship, headed on to our next adventure. Gummy ship. Gummy ship. Gummy ship. Uh, then, Chase, it's over to you to take the lead. Go ahead. We're ready. It's the end, baby! Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, Hopefully. I get a line, unless you folks really want us to do uh, Union Cross. Anyway, here we go. Say you do. <laughs> um, so, leaving San Francisco, we are back in the gummy ship. Um, and while we're there, we get a call from Chip and Dale. Remember, they're the engineers of the gummy they ship. Are, I've right, not talked right. about them in fucking forever. Are they on the gummy ship then? They're just like no, working no, down no, in the no, engine no. room. They're, no? at they're at Disney Castle. Right. Um, they're in the hangar at Disney Castle, and they kind of just call you. Mm. Um, they call you over the ship's comms in prior games, and they call you over the gummy phone in this game. Cool. Um, but they're all like, "Bitch, boy, Riku and the King, they're fucking missing. We lost them. Oh, oh shit! Because remember the last time we saw them, they were fucking losing to the Demon Tower again mm. because of their weak sauce. And Sora's like, oh, "Realm of Darkness time. Do I finally get a go? Oh my god, do I get a go? Does he get a go? Do I get a go?" Uh, and it's like, but wait, how, how are you going to get... You don't have a Keyblade of Darkness. How the fuck are you going to get in there? Like, yeah, go, yeah go, sure, go, but how are you going to get in there? But of course, you know, Sora has the power of letting his heart be his guiding plot convenience. <laughs> yeah. And opens a portal that uh, spits him back out. Home! Just in time for dinner on the Destiny Islands. So is this the Destiny Islands from the start of Kingdom Hearts 1... All's, it looks pretty yes, happy. why are you asking that? Why would it not be? Well, because presumably his heart being his guiding key would lead him to Riku and Mickey, who are locked on the dark. No, 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 no. His, his heart's guiding him to wherever may be the convenient... The next convenient place. So if the next convenient place would be where the fuck Aqua is. Well, we need to get there. He can't just... We've established that you can't open a portal into the Realm of Darkness without certain tools that he doesn't have. So apparently, sure. this is the next best thing. Sure. Um. So on that beach, he finds Ericus's Keyblade, the one that oh. Aqua had been sticking around with. Oh, cool, cool, okay. <laughs> Why he had never noticed it for the years he was living here, and Aqua was in the Realm of Darkness. We won't. Why was it right in the middle of the beach? Yeah. It's not even under sand. It's sitting on top. 
Like, I'm pretty sure as a player, you run over this in yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1. Like, it's just there. Like, you'd run by it. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 1, at least, we can say Aqua hadn't been there yet. So it's after Kingdom But we are still here and we never see it. So fuck it. Sure, man. Um, so, so has Aqua not got her Keyblade? No, she's lost her Keyblade at this point. She's just punching darkness in the face. Exactly. Yeah, I remember she, she was punching <laughs> and some uh, Yeah, darkness so before. badass. Uh, because she lost her Keyblade because she's just fallen so far in darkness. Um, and she, Love it. Yeah. Um, so he picks it up, and it, of course, also is a guiding plot convenience, and it points over at the door to the cave, shooting a beam and creating an incredibly convenient door to the realm of darkness. Great. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, we're there. Thank fuck. We're there. It only took us half a game. How <laughs> yeah, but of course. Because he's a big-hearted, lovely boy, he stops in to see his mum and have dinner with her. And, you know, we've not seen her since game one when she died. So, obviously, he well, stops in with her. You know how you know how you said that he's a really kind-hearted boy? Mm. Well, the next thing he does is that he banishes Double. What? Refusing to let them come ruin his hero moment. He tells them to get the fuck out. Wow. What? He's like, don't come to the realm of darkness. I'm yeah. going alone. Yeah. Why? Uh, he's like, it's too dangerous and only I'm the strong Keyblade man. No, because we know for, sorry, as people who have played the games, Chase, we know that Donald's healing factor is incredibly <laughs> useful. Donald wow. Duck can Unless heal he you. It. Unless he wastes it on shite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah. Well, but like, Sora banishes them. He's like, sick. fuck you. Get out of my sight. And he goes through the door. Now, in this realm, uh, we actually pick up in this realm at the exact moment of the last time that we saw Riku and Mickey. Because mm. obviously time works differently in the realms. Um, so, we're back. Riku and Mickey are still getting the shit beaten out of them. Um, and the demon tower accumulates into a ball of darkness in the sky. Out of which jumps a shadowy figure. The figure reaches out to pick up Mickey's dropped keyblade. And Mickey recognizes the figure's voice as the darkness dissipates to reveal Dark Aqua. Ooh. Oh. She's got yellow. Wait, she's been norted. Well, the, the yeah. yellow eyes, generally speaking, no just ears. represent darkness. Well, we can't tell. Normal like, ears. Like, yeah, she's got normal ears, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but no. like... The yellow eyes generally just represent darkness, which is why they're also symbolic of Xehanort. <laughs> Wait, so it's not the yellow eyes we're looking out for. It's Are the it's... pointy ears. I, I meant to say yellow eyes. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm several ciders deep, my friend. Wait, so... so Yellow wait. eyes equal darkness. That's why Xehanort has them, and that's why when Xehanort nor norts people, he's putting his darkness juice. Right. right. But it's the ears and the hair that, that represent someone getting I norted. Mean, they all are kind of representative of darkness, which is why they're also synonymously representative of Xehanort. Xehanort it's is mainly the web. ears, I guess, though, because we're not we're not to assume that Aqua has been... Well, I guess we're probably to assume that Aqua Technically, has been Technically, the ears player. are also a darkness thing. Just assume that all these signs of darkness are just synonymous with signs of Xehanort. Right. Sure, man. But has Aqua been norted? Just, Aqua has not been norted. Right, she's just been taken over by the darkness. Exactly. Aqua is okay. just way too fucking deep in the darkness. Right. Um, oh, damn it. <laughs> so she appears. It's never fucking easy, is it? Uh, telling Mickey that he's too late. Mickey asks what happened. Look at back of Kurt. You abandoned me. Left me in the shadow yeah. prison for more than a decade, yes. knowing what it would do to me. Yes. Absolutely, Aqua. Like, kick their fucking arse. Kick Mickey's arse. Maybe not Sora. He just got here. <laughs> she is absolutely right now that we know that he had the means to, yeah. to fix this. Also, her outfit is. She looks cooler than she did. And I feel like I shouldn't say that because it's like bad Aqua or whatever. I mean, you're but, not like, wrong. look at that outfit. It's look at those gloves. Cool. It's badass. It's very cool. Fucking Aqua should be the new villain. I don't care about Xehanort anymore. <laughs> just have vengeful Aqua just wreaking havoc. I'm here. Uh, she waited for so long in that shore, but nobody came. She lost her Keyblade, giving her no way to fight the Heartless. Something that Mickey did know. So it's, it's kind of his fault. Mm -hmm. uh, all that's left in Aqua's heart is misery and despair, and she's going to share it. But Riku doesn't want it because, you know, he's, he's got a uh, dark Riku in his heart, baby. What? And dark Riku has his own Why? Keyboard. No, why? He got rid of all the darkness from his so, heart. So, 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 so. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember the la the first time we were here when he was mm. in the darkness and he heard like a voice and he's like, what? It's you? And then he left his broken keyblade and he's like, I'm leaving this for the other me. Yeah. And you all presumed I meant Replicant. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't mean Replica. Even though this guy looks just like Replica. No, 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 no. This is Dark Riku, Riku. who yeah. is the one from Kingdom Hearts 1. Yeah. It's, it's, it's who not... is wearing the same outfit as Dark Replica. No, yeah. Replica is red. He's Dark Replica, who in this game at least is wearing organized robes. Okay. Um, but to be very clear, this is not a physical time traveling Riku. Right. This is just the darkness that is inside Riku. It is like his quote unquote dark side. Cool. Right. Um, it's, it's like the darkness in his heart that he had half accepted, half shut away, kind of yada yada. Cool. Um, and his darkness has, has taken the Keyblade that Riku left for him. So he's remade the Keyblade. It's a Keyblade of darkness now. He, where did he remake it? Inside Riku's heart? Who knows, man. Dark Riku, okay. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, Riku summons his car key to fight Aqua, but has to get through her demon Wait. tower first. Uh, so you're fighting the tower again. Uh, you, you win in that like air quote win, but in the cutscene is like you lose. Mm. Um, but super conveniently, Sewer Boy, he falls from the fucking sky like a meteor. Does he like stab his keyblade in the head of the heart? And it's power? it's super fucking dramatic. Like this part's in slow mo. Oh yeah. As he like just, it's like one of those like super fast like zoom down and then slow mo as he like slams in the water, splashes up, and it's great. Love, and, like looks yeah. up at Riku and Riku's like, "Bitch, didn't I tell you the fuck to not come here until you had the power awakening? Where's your power awakening? Huh? Huh? Who who fucking needs it at this point? The amount. Oh, I mean, yeah. how are you gonna wake up Sleepy Ven? Uh, Riku can do it. You can dive into Sora's Riku heart. Riku doesn't have a tight connection to Ven. He's so oh, okay. We saw that he could dive into Sora's heart though. So yeah, he like, because zap. he has a deep connection to Sora. But Ven's in Sora. Yeah, so yeah. Surely it counts. <laughs> Again, like it counts. It fucking counts. It doesn't. Right? It counts. For all the other, oh. all the other stuff that we've had, where it just counts because. Um, yeah. Right. This is the one that definitely it counts because. So sure. uh, yeah, uh, they fight it off together using the power of friendship mm -hmm. and light, and somehow create a, a keyblade of friendship. Oh uh, yeah. I guess. Oh, wow. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Um, I don't met. Uh, I've literally put, I don't know, man. It literally gets zero explanation, and the wiki entry also has one sentence. <laughs> this, it, I think it's called the Combined Keyblade. It is not explained what it is, oh, how, where it came from. They just, like, combine their friendship power, create a super powerful Keyblade, and drive away the Heartless. Yeah, the, ma the Master of Masters, despite not being present for this situation, and despite No Name not being here as his eye, looked into the future and decided that at this very moment, Sora and Riku, through the power of friendship, needed a Keyblade, so he created one in advance and sent it through time. That's obviously what happened, yeah. Chase. You fucking nincompoop. You, you oxymoron. <laughs> I will say, it is one of the coolest ones in the series, though. And it, it like, yeah. swirls around them, and it's great. Mm. Um... So you, just, you destroy the demon tower, rescue Mickey. Um, Aqua rushes forward to strike Riku from behind, but is stopped by Sora. He defeats Aqua, driving the darkness from her. Wait, what? Yeah. We fight Aqua? Yeah, you fight Aqua. Okay. It's great. Oh, no shit, I remember this. So, sorry, I remember it's this now. It's a really hard fight, actually. It is, yeah. She's it's a fucking, yeah. It's actually a decently hard fight. Um, well, so he just beats the darkness out of her. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> That's all he knows how to do. <laughs> Be a being of light! <laughs> I don't want to. I fucking I'll kill you. you like the rest of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, she falls again into the waters, sinking down, fucking again. Oh. But this oh, time, just... this time, of course, as she's sinking, it's 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 allegorical. Reaches so that Sora, uh, the light appears from above, and Sora reaches down to be her guiding light as he rescues her from the water. I feel like it'd be a bit better if Mickey did that to make amends for ditching yeah, her Mickey for ten give years. A shit. <laughs> Mickey, doesn't yeah. give a shit. Mickey doesn't give a shit. Get her, Sora. <laughs> I'm fucking busy over here. She wakes there. up. <laughs> she wakes up on the beach of Destiny Island, seeing Ven and Terra above her before blinking to see uh, Sora and Riku. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Bit, um, storytelling. She quite she realizes that she's on the Destiny Islands, questioning when they came, when they fell to darkness, only for Riku to tell her that she's finally home. Finally back to the realm of light. Oh. Uh, why is she hugging Donald fucking duck? <laughs> a man she never more met. A duck she never met. importantly, Mickey. Why is she hugging Mickey? Oh, it's okay, guys. I forgive you for just oh. 10 years. This, this scene's actually really emotional. I was struggling so much to find the exact moment I wanted a screenshot. And you picked the Mickey and Donald moment. <laughs> it, was, it was the best, to be honest. Because it's like... 
she real hug Sora she real well, they all group hug after this but oh, okay. there was no yeah. clear shot of her face but um it's it's, it's, it's it's like everybody goes around they're like you're home you're home you're home and she cries it's really emotional and, and mickey says i hope you're not waiting for an apology because it's not <laughs> fucking coming <laughs> and i cried and everybody cried and i yeah. straight up making this powerpoint and writing this script i think i cried like every 20 minutes for the remainder of the game <laughs> because the game just gets really emotional going forward no, look, like aqua has spent 20 years in essentially like yeah. De- depression she real. has it worse than Roxas she has it yeah, worse I'd agree with that. she yeah. has it as bad as Terra because we don't know exactly like Terra's presumably had it pretty fucking well, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's been a demon uh, no, I, I, would, I would argue that potentially and I, I don't necessarily want to say that one has worse than another but I, I don't think we want to minimize what Terra's gone yeah, through I'm because like it. Aqua is lost in the realm of depression let's fucking just call it that shit I know it's darkness right but the realm of depression for 10 years with no hope 20 years. and 20 years and resigns herself to just be the guide for anyone else who gets lost down here to help them escape yeah. and will never escape herself. She just comes to terms with that fact and fights on and is engulfed by it. Terra, on the other hand, is basically in an eternal b- battle with darkness, helping the bad guy the yeah. entire time. I think the two do correlate slightly. I'd argue that... Look, I'm a bit, probably a bit of a terror apologist, I guess, after this experience. <laughs> and I will stand by that, but you could argue that, like, for all of Terra's fuck-ups, for being a bit of a dim boy, he's definitely, like, fulfilled his punishment and then some. Yeah. Whereas Aqua didn't do anything wrong, yeah. aside from being a, maybe a bit self-righteous, a wee bit. Um, and that's not really worth what she went through. Yeah. Um, the two don't really correlate. Uh, but no, yeah, this this is. This is beautiful. I'm glad she's back. Good for Aqua. Um, That's good. Yeah. Um, so she's part of the gang now. She's, she's one of the. Part of the gang now. Yeah. They, got, they got one more guardian. So she's one of the seven. Oh, and no, they got no, a no. Keyblade Master Guardian. Mm. So fucking thank God. And better yet, she knows where the fuck Ven is, right? She'll be like, she lads, does. off to Castle Oblivion. She does know where Ven is. Yeah. I mean, whether Sora can wake up his heart, it's a different story. Did he ever get his fucking power awakening? Oh, fucking hate. I, I think. Know where his body is. I think I can forgive. Power awakening. E- yeah. Is- I. I can forgive everything else. Every it, everything it, else. Time travel, don't care. The power of waking is the worst thing they've invented. Whole game. So, it's it. Here's the thing. By the end of this game, we do not know the full extent of the power of waking. Oh, I hate it, um, I do. The I power of waking it. is vaguely a Deus Ex Machina. Um yeah. because waking things up isn't even its actual power. But I'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Forget I said that. We'll get there. I hate you. I love you too. <laughs> I don't. I love. Thank you for doing. Besties forever. <laughs> but I hate this so much. Continue, please. Back at Radiant Gardens, uh, we see Vexen. Um, who of course is uh, he is still Vexen. He never recompletes into Evan, but sure, man. and he's still Norded. So sure. <laughs> like he's still Norded, but he's a good guy now. Um, and he's out there with Denix. Um, who's Sitar Man? Sitar Man, who he, who is dragged uh, to Radiant Gardens for reasons, I guess, um, where he gets him in on a mission to help uh, one of the chosen who also wants to atone. Uh, Demix agrees. Demix time. Okay, I think that there should be a little bit more general fear amongst the organization members of going to confront Sora, given that not only do they know what he did to them. He did it to them. Some of them were murdered brutally. Mm. I would have thought they'd go, go and taunt Sora. No, you're all right. Can I sit this one out? He, <laughs> he murdered me. And he's only gotten stronger since. <laughs> like, whereas they've taken a bit of time out. Has he gotten stronger or did he reset? And then like, oh, well, you know. You know, he, he, was like, he was level 60 the last time we fought. And this time he's like level 42. But like while he's leveling up, you know, they're getting fucking, having a bit of a time out in a lab yeah. somewhere. Like, yeah. Um, but anyway, inside Ansem's lab, Ienzo is questioning the vest, uh, is is asking himself about the vessel they need to house Roxas' heart. He mentions how without a vessel, it's the backup plan or nothing, uh, which was the whole data Twilight Town yada yada. Um, however, as he's pondering, uh, Demix comes to be a plot convenience out of a dark corridor uh, with a parcel that he places on the ground where we can see a shoulder, and it's very clearly a corpse or something, you know. Okay, who's that? It's a replica. <laughs> Just a, a blank face. A, a, replica. Bl- a blank, a blank body. 
Uh, he says he's on a special delivery, and, uh, ta-da! Ansem the Wise is back to his lab! Wait, so they used up a replica on Master Ansem the Wise. Okay. No. No? No. The, the replica's on the floor next to him. Oh, okay. A Ansem the Wise is not- Ansem the Wise has been here the whole time, remember? Vexen was with him in Twilight Town. He's fine. Oh, sorry, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah no, sorry, he's, yeah. he's, he's fine, he's so, fine. Zexion, so in this screen cap, is going, <laughs> Master Ansem, presumably he's not that, he must be a bit nervous about seeing Ansem. Yeah, because he wasn't, like, even an immediate underling. We, you explained to us earlier that he was, like, an old apprentice that got brought in as a new apprentice. And Sorry, he wasn't an old apprentice, he was a new apprentice. He was. He was an old apprentice, he was one of the OG. He was, he was, he was OG. Right, okay. He was OG. Okay. Um... But, um, yeah, uh, he, he, uh, all the rest of the apprentices come in, they all make peace with their old master cool. after, you know, fucking abandoning him and traitoring him and shoving him into the realm of darkness and turning into evil guys. And Yeah, what's his deal? Is he like, it's cool, guys, we got work to do. It's Essentially, fine. yeah. Yeah. Uh, he makes peace and they turn their attention to the empty vessel. So this is now, re we're making, you know... We're making good, gang. This is we're breaking good. We're uh, yeah. breaking good. So they're Team Sora. They're Team Sora. Cool. That's fun. well. I suppose more so. They're Team bringing back Roxas and Nomine. Ooh. They're what was she on? They don't, who's she on? You mean who's she? They know who. They're no, they nobody. Don't. She on. Nobody this? knows who she on is. What do you mean? They do do you not remember with... once she on disappeared? Oh, everyone forgot. Because even Roxas forgot existed. her. Yeah. Because her memories were disappeared. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> so nobody knows who Shion is. I just There's want the so Wayfinder trio stuff. back. There's so much I stuff. would also love Aqua Ven and Terra back. This is the thing, right? There's I need... So much stuff. It's like, it's almost like Kingdom Hearts 3 <laughs> needs, like, an AI component. Where, as you're playing, you'd be like, Wait, what about Shion? And then the PlayStation just goes, Don't you remember? Shion was forgotten back in 358 over two days. <laughs> Everybody forgot her after she died. That was 12 years ago. That was my job while you were playing it and texting me through the whole 100%, thing. 100% and I forgot even that shit. So thanks. <laughs> Fuck your gear, yeah. Okay, so so okay, so they're gonna get Roxas back and they're gonna get Namini back. That's the goal. That is their uh their goal. Cool, cool, cool. Shion I guess. Yeah. Fuck. So back with right. Sora and Aqua. Um, she leads them uh to Castle of Bloody End, summons her keyblade, and reawakens it into the long lost oh. land of departure. Ooh. It's back. Oh, and it's pretty. It's not destroyed anymore for some reason. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's not in the realm of darkness anymore. No. Cool. I guess it got healed while it was having a nap being Castle Oblivion. I guess. Sure. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you love it. <laughs> uh, they enter the castle. I love how even I have gotten to the point where I'm just like, yep, yeah, it's uh, sure. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's because we're so late now that the yeah. answers haven't been there's given not, to you there's yet. Not, no, there's also not like 10 years worth of theory crafting for this game yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they enter the castle uh, and of course find Ven still having a nap on his throne. Aqua goes up, gives him the old shake, tries to wake him up. Uh, she doesn't actually know at this point that his heart is inside Sora. Um, so she's like, wake up, sleepyhead, but obviously his heart's not fucking there, so not gonna wake up, but before they can do anything, they're good, joined by a good old buddy, Vanitas. Mm. Take Wait, off your he helmet. Know? Also, take off your helmet, you fuck, but how does he know they're there? How does he know Ven's here? Isn't the whole thing that they're trying to find the body of Ven? I guess he's just been following them. Sure, man. He, he, he shows up. <laughs> sure, yeah. Look how pointy her shoes are. Uh, yeah, yeah kick him. Cool. Kick him in the dick. <laughs> Kick him in the day. Oh, fuck that. That'll ruin his day. <laughs> He's not coming to the Keyblade graveyard now. <laughs> um, in this moment, you uh, you get to play as Aqua. Mm. Oh, and so you fight him. Like, it, it, he shows up. Obviously, Aqua knows who he is. And Sora goes to fight, and she's like, no, this is my fight. She puts up a little fucking shield so that Sora can't intervene. Uh, but obviously, you know, she just got out of 20 years in the slammer. Uh, without even a nap, and so Vanitas kicks her ass. What? No. No, no. she spent 20 years training and becoming a badass. Thank uh, you. No, she spent a few years, most of it was spent falling asleep into darkness. 
No, she spent 10 years fighting darkness and 10 years being darkness. She, Aqua could, the numbers, right, the basic data of their strength speaks mm -hmm. to me that Aqua could fucking rock Vinitas' world. She rocked his world back in Birth by Sleep and she was like already tired and on a big adventure. What a load of shite. What yeah. a load of shite. Yeah, I fucking like hate it. No, Aqua's been through enough. Leave her alone. No. Nope. Give her a win. She loses. Sora calls out. Uh, he, he, Sora uh, tries to get her, but of course her fucking shield she put up, she can't. He can't help her. Um, before we fl we flash into Sora's heart. Yeah. There we find Ventus. Ventus's heart floating, telling Sora to use the power of waking. Sure. Uh, but Sora learned, you know, literally jack shit from the Disney worlds. The power, though. So the Disney worlds have been a waste of time. Yes. A complete, <laughs> like, a complete waste of time. Yeah. All we've learned from the Disney World is that Organization 13 are like, hey, Sora, keep doing what you're doing, buddy. And also, and there's, some new, there's some new princes at heart. Yeah, and essentially. Oh, fuck it no. all right. So, I lo to be fair, have the Disney World been important in any Kingdom Hearts game? Arguably in one, to set the scene. Two, to introduce the Organization 13 members okay, bit by bit. In this game. Yeah, but I think that, yeah, no, but I, I, no, no, but to set the scene of the entire franchise, whereas three, we already know Disney Worlds are Disney Worlds. I think they need to do something more for the third game. I love three, or at least I love my memory of three. I'm beginning to think maybe I don't memories, love three as much. No, I, I do love three. I think three is great. Um, It's middle of the road in terms of my favorite ones, but I do love it. But the Disney worlds are just as useless in this game as they are in every other Game Hearts game. Sure, sorry, it doesn't matter. You're in um, the middle of an epic confrontation. Yeah, so, so, so Ven's awoken somehow in Sora's heart. Ven tells him to use the power of waking. Uh, the power he explains... <laughs> That's, so I was like, you're the fifth person to tell me, and I don't know what it is. The power, Ven explains, was never lost. It just sleeps until you have need to it. He tells Sora to call for it, which Sora does, unlocking his own heart. Right, wait, wait. No, that's fine. No, no, fine. no, no, it's not fine. Yeah. The power of waking <laughs> has been a concept for a game and a half yeah, now. Yeah, asleep. And all it required is for, after, need it. is for Sora to go, oh, I guess I want to do it. it no, 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 it required for him to need it. He needed it in the past. So you know when, when he need? no, 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 no. You know when he needed it, Chase? You know when he needed it? When? Back when he was asleep at the very end of Dream Drop Distance and he was in a coma. Can you not use the power of waking on yourself? Are you not allowed to? Because that seems like a moment when you definitely needed it. So the keyhole in the center... <laughs> I, what? I, no, no, I'm not. I interrupt there because that one gets explained. Oh, um, okay. Fine, but the it's still a load of shite and I hate it. I hate that's the explanation. The keyhole. Oh. So this is Sora is flying above his heart, his heart pedestal. We see his um, his stained glass. He shoots his keyblade at it, unlocking the center. Um, and the platform glows, light releasing from the center and transforming into Ventus's platform. Ooh. Cool as fuck. I love that. That's really cool. So he's unlocked his heart to access uh, Ventus. Look, heart. is that the Keyblade Graveyard in the background? Yes, oh, yes. that's fucking sick. Yes. I love that. Um, so it's like, what the fuck? Sora unlocks. Uh, Sora also unlocks Ventus's heart, releasing it, and it flies out. Venetus goes to finish Aqua off, but is stopped as Ventus breaks through <gasps> the shield, shattering it to attack uh, Venetus. Hell yeah. He's back, baby. He's back. This is actually very cool. He's like sat in throne, and you see like just the shield shatter as he like flies through it straight at Venetus. Awesome. It's great. Per Ventus, from his perspective, he's just like gone to sleep after fighting Venetus, and then it's it's ten years later, and he's like, whoa, okay. you again? <laughs> Why is my keyblade acting up on his own accord? Who are you? Well, I mean, I think it's more that he sees Aqua in danger. Because when he's you know, flying forward, he's like, Aqua! Mm -hmm. He's going to rescue Aqua. I love this shit. Yeah. <coughs> Keep it going. <laughs> um, are we getting the helmet off yet? No. Nah. I, I need Sora to experience Vanitas, Vanitas leaves, okay. knowing <laughs> that... Uh, Fucking this guy! Knowing... This guy! He, he, he leaves, knowing that uh, now that Venti is awake, he's sure to visit. Okay. Sure, man. Get off. Go on. Together, <laughs> all the Guardians of Light gather at Yen Sid's tower. Hey. All the Guardians of Light. Wait, hold on. One, two. I'm, I'm discounting Donald Duck and Goofy from this picture. <laughs> We're looking at a picture right now, and it's like all the characters have met so far. There are seven here. Who can wield the oh, there, so we've got Axel, Kyrie, Sora, Riku, Mickey, 
Aqua, and Vet. They're good to go. Yeah, they're seven. That's, that's okay. That's what I just said. Yeah, they're seven. Oh, I kind of assumed that we were just collecting like the whole gang, but I guess fuck, fuck it. it. Why would we need nine? Do you think do you think we're we're like ordination thirteen that we go over our number? Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> maybe, maybe an advantage. Maybe in this just fight. maybe just to get them out of the horrible situation they're in. Yeah, maybe we want to like separate Terra from Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Aqua recognizes Kyrie as the girl that she accidentally gave the keyblade to all the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people with keyblades, and then there's Donald Duck <laughs> and Goofy. And best boy Yen Sid. Uh, he could get one if he wants one, I'm sure. Yeah, boo, boo. We don't like Yen Sid, boo. Um, meanwhile, Axis questions why Ventus looks just like Roxas. Or is it Roxas that looks just like Ven? Oh. Axis was having a hell of a day. He's got Kari over there that looks like Shion. He's got Ventus over there that looks like Roxas. He's like, are my friends back? I don't know. Axel in this scene is hysterical. Uh, cause he's like basically going through like, there's 10 million new people, there's 30 new lore points, I don't understand what's going on, and it's a lot to get memorized! <laughs> I love him so much! Uh, Ven, uh, says that he, uh, he, he remembers Lee. Just like Lee was, Lee was wondering back in the time cube. Oh, like back in Birth by Sleep when they were friends. And, well, they were friends. Yeah, they met for five yeah, minutes. He remembers yeah. him. Saying other friends. And he can't believe that Lee also became a Keyblade wielder. Just like him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Lee was like, your Keyblade's fucking shit, pal. I've got Shagrams. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, Eating his words now, isn't he? Anyone. <laughs> uh, anyway, everyone needs to read literally uh, this entire Lord Ump script because nobody knows what's going on. So Jiminy gives them each a smartphone with a bookmark to the Kingdom Hearts wiki preloaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, sure. See, that's what Jiminy's been up to. He's been he's been turning his journal into been, the Kingdom Hearts wiki. He's been, he's been building the PowerPoint like you have. He's been he's been writing the wiki, and now he has distributed the wiki to everybody so they can all catch up on twelve games. Lee's like, 24 answer reports? <laughs> Not getting this memorized. <laughs> uh, the seven Guardians of Light gathered and vow to also return Roxas, Nominate, and Terra. Mm. The next day, they'll journey to the fated place. The Keyblade Graveyard! Before that, no. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> ben and Aqua go outside the tower to look at this guy and talk. Ben talks about how he dreamed a lot of her and Terra, Sora and his friends... And even more people he didn't recognize. Oh, and these weird animal creatures too. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's the, the dream, Pokemon. The dream Pokemon. Yes. Dream catchers. Why did he dream? Wait, hold on. What? So you said back at the end of Dream Drop Distance that it was like really sad and shit. Yeah. Why is that really sad? Is that sad We're because of Ven? Know, yeah. Because he spent time. But, but like, but he's been inside Sora's heart the whole time. So how... oh, because he was dreaming. So he was in Dreamland in the Dream Worlds. Okay, is this a Union Cross thing? <laughs> Sure, they pull out their wayfinders, <laughs> vowing to save Terra. Aww. Aww. You found the strength to continue. Yeah. yeah. In Twilight Town... Tell me I wasn't... Uh, I love that that keeps coming back. I'm here for it. In Twilight Town, Maleficent and Pete... No, no, we've got, we're, we're getting ready for the big battle. <laughs> Maleficent and Pete decide to call off their hunt for the box. They're oh. fucking done. Sure, man. Uh, with Maleficent saying how the box does not exist, <laughs> at least now... Okay. What the fuck does that mean? It does exist. Does it? Well, yes, we saw we saw it exist prior to the events of this game right. back in back cover. But does it exist now? Well, it's not going to just disappear from existence and then pop back in. That's impossible. That's literally impossible, Chase. <laughs> Something can't exist, not exist, and exist again. That's impossible. It's impossible. What about well, Chase? What about, what about what about Scar? It happened with Scar. <laughs> Oh, it just existed, disappeared, and came back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but like, it doesn't chase. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> hey. um, no. She says that a Keyblade War is upon them. They only need to wait until the fated moment. Light or dark as the victor, doesn't matter. The box will be revealed. Right, so it's like the Keyblade clash happens, and the box will into existence, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay. As, as, as far as what she's saying, yeah. Meanwhile, Axel is uh, chomping down on some sea of salt ice cream back at the clock tower. Um, And in his other hand, he has two others and I sobbed. 
Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Does, does, does nobody go up to join him? Is he alone? Syax appears. No, 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 not you. Syax appears. <laughs> sitting, sitting next Literally to him. anyone else. Sitting next to him and stealing one of the ice creams. Oh, what a saying that he's not here to fight. <laughs> Axel's like, it's um, not for you. He asks why Axel brought, uh, bought three of them, saying one's for Roxas, but... Oh, and he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Does He's he? just like, I just felt like it. God, oh. got off my back. Oh. oh. He just has a, uh, has a feeling that he needs three, you know? Guys, I will never forget you. I promise that. <laughs> I, to my fucking core. Thanks, bro. Who? 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 Oh my god, it's so fucking emotional. The entire the entirety of Kingdom Hearts' bullshit can just be forgotten whenever you come back to how sad this trio is. The fact that like they've gone through hell together, they don't even remember. See when see when Roxas comes back, I'm gonna cry like a baby. Yeah, legit. If Roxas comes back. Don't do this to me. I know. If Roxas comes back. Okay. Axel's uh Axel asks why Syx is there. Now apparently Back when they were still friends, they used to sneak into Ansem's castle. And there, they became friends with a girl. We still don't know who this girl is. They became apprentices of Ansem in order to rescue this girl. Oh. Axel says that they failed. But Syak says, we didn't fail, you gave up. Axel says that she disappeared, then Ansem did. Then they were nobodies. Then they were in the organization. What was he meant to do? But Syak says that, you know... The only reason he's been following his eminence the whole time was he was looking for a way to discover what happened to the girl. He never gave up trying to find this girl. Mm. Uh, but the more he looked, the more he questioned if she ever even existed. Mm. Accepting that just like Roxas, she was gone forever. No, because the girl kind of existed prior to Organization 13 because we know she unpopped into existence due to Sora and Namini and Kairi shenanigans. So it's not she on is the girl, it's someone else. So we still don't know who the girl is. Maybe it's Shion. Right, but like, but like, we, 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 we shouldn't, we've not missed this. We've not, you've not told us and we've forgotten. She's not been named. Okay. Whether you can extrapolate it from current information is... I'm still going with Namini, it's the only, not Namini, Kyrie. it's the only, yeah, it's the Kyrie, only log, yeah. if it's pre-Kingdom Hearts 1 this shit, it's gotta be Kyrie. Or, or we haven't met any other female character except for Aqua, who's been like lost and experimented on, and they haven't found yet. Yeah, it's got to be Kyrie. All right. Well, Axel yeah, says how he'll definitely get them both back, especially Roxas, and Syx disappears oh. to prepare for the oncoming battle. Oh, getting them both back. So is she on? No, I mean, I, I'm. He's just saying I'll get the girl and Roxas back. Oh, okay, right. Whether he's talking about Shion, who knows? Oh, the girl, the one that we were the just... girl that you were just talking about. Yes. He's like, bitch, I didn't give up. I'll still rescue her. I'll save all my friends. Ah, uh, you know. But uh, but Roxas is my priority. He's the important one. My my brain, yeah. Continue. My brains begin to hurt a little bit trying to trying to piece things together. It's okay. it's it's the typical Shion dilemma that she is so difficult to remember, comprehend, and predict that it's it's yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Um, also, preparing for the final battle, we see Riku on the beach of Destiny Island. Presumably, he finally went home for dinner with his mom. Um, Sora's mom's like, hey, you seen Sora? And he's like, no, (laughs) no. And he sat on the beach with Dark Riku. The other asks how long Riku has known that he was with him. And he says how after Sora and Riku left Castle Oblivion, his heart fell into the realm of darkness where it wandered until Riku showed up and found himself in trouble. Only so this is this is Repliku, the original Repliku. This is not time traveling Repliku. Right. This is actual current timeline Repliku. Okay. Who after Castle Oblivion has just been wandering around the realm of darkness. Oh, okay. So we've got three Rikus right now. We've got OG Riku, old grown up Riku, favorite yes. character Riku. We've got Replica Riku from Chain of Memories, and we've got Replica Riku 2.0. For who who is time traveled basically? Yes, correct. Okay. And to the commenters who are gonna have already typed their comment that I screwed this up, uh, like fifteen minutes ago, I just realized I screwed this up. I know that this is Repliku and not Dark Riku. Thank you for correcting me fifteen minutes ago and not waiting until I could correct myself. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> cool. 
So 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 rep rep rep. So wait. So hold on. So rep rep replica Riku 1.0 from Chain of Memories yes. has been living inside of Riku's heart. No 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 no. He's no. he's been wandering the realm of darkness, post Castle of Bloodhands. Just finding himself. Exactly. Out. Yeah. <laughs> so he's just been, it's been there. A long time, man. Until yeah. he chanced upon Riku in trouble there. Right. Um. And 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 rescued Riku. At that point, he joined Riku's heart. Saying that he'd rather meet his end with Riku in the darkness, or, or with Riku then in the darkness. But first, he has to see one more thing through. So we can do this now. Rep replicas can just jump into each other to people's hearts whenever they want to. I guess that's just a thing we yes, do. Yes, sure. So I, I guess it's because it's kind of semi his heart slash memories already. Oh okay. yeah. Above Riku on the beach, Sora and Kai Kyrie are sat on the papu tree. They're watching Riku. They look down, they don't see Repliku. They just see Riku alone because obviously Repliku's in his heart. Only Riku can see him. Right. So okay. he, he's, he's not like a physical dude here. He's in Riku's heart. So Riku can see him. But cool. they look down, they just see Riku sitting by himself. And Sora's like, why the fuck is he sitting by himself? Why is he not sitting with us? And Kari's like, because we're on a date, you dumbass. <laughs> he's not third wheeling. Kairi hands him a Paupu fruit. <gasps> oh no! Holy shit, they finally gonna get this. This is the like this fruit. genuinely. This honestly, I hate to say this. This feels like sex, but the first time I'm really nervous for them. I don't um, want this to happen. No, this, look at Sora's face. He's like, I don't want to break. This, this feels like a death flag. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a death flag. Yeah. Um. And Sora, how... you promise we'll be together once you get back from the war. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's going to war too. You're yeah, all going to war. But if I had to put money down. <laughs> uh, sa saying that tomorrow is going to be their toughest fight yet. And that she wants to be a part of his heart no matter what. Uh, Sora takes the fruit as they promise to keep each other safe and hold hands looking into the sunset. Do they not eat the fruit? Presumably yes. Okay. Not on, so, not on camera. Oh. So they're like they're bonded now. Okay, cool. They're bonded. So that's it. Bonded by destiny, right? That's the thing. Yeah. But that's where the prophecy is. And you they've they've pretty much already been bonded by destiny. But you know, yeah. more more pow poo surely can't help. Sure, man. Yeah, no. This is this is sweet, and I really appreciate that they came back to it. It's like, really risky yeah. to just have these fruit around because if you just got a couple of kids, your kids, you're just gonna eat the fruit, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> the next morning, mm. the guardians arrive at the Keyblade Graveyard, <clears throat> where they are approached by Master Zayhart. <gasps> who's just been presumably just chilling here oh God, no for way. the entirety of the game. Nobody went to check on him. He's just been sat here. I just feel it, find it strange that at no point does Zaynor question the, the, the continued involvement of Donald Duck and Goofy the dog. <laughs> Look at this. Badass Axel. Badass Sora. Mickey Mouse. Sure, he's popped up previously. And a duck and a dog in hats. <laughs> and he's like, ah, yes, the Keyblade Graveyard. Who are you? I'm glad you didn't call him a cow. The comments got really mad at you oh, for I calling am. him they a cow. Mad at you for that. Yeah. Me. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> that was in like four different videos I saw comments on that. Because I corrected the mistake, I think, in that you did, and and I, I will go on record now. Keep this in. Uh, uh, you did correct it, and I cut it. And oh you, no! Uh, <laughs> and, and, and I cut I cut it because you you corrected it during one of our breaks. Oh no. So yeah, yeah. And I remember listening to going, I should probably keep this. And I was like, oh, it's just so messy though. And like, <laughs> there's like clinks and shit in the background and you can't hear Right, you heard it. You heard it yeah. from the, the host of the channel himself. No, I, I apologize he, profusely. Yeah. You corrected it the same episode 15 minutes after you said it. So I'm really sorry um, for no. the I'm actually comments. Anyway, Chase, next. We're at the Keyblade Graveyard. Epic confrontation time. Xehanort yeah. waxes about the Keyblade Ward, saying how it's a creation point and questioning if they'll be found worthy of Kingdom Hearts after it's been summoned. Joined by Seeker of Darkness, Xemnas, Young Xehanort, and Vanitas, who continue his speech like one line at a time as they appear. I feel like they rehearsed this. They like oh, yeah, got yeah, their yeah. little black box uh, theater. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah, did he announce them? <laughs> Zemnis, pew, Vanitas, pew. <laughs> and we form Team Xehanort. <laughs> um, they continue on a speech about breaking them to summon the Keebly before darkness bursts out of them, summoning millions of heartless nobodies and unversed, beginning the pre-war. 
Okay, well, so it's, it's just like a fucking tribute act before the main show. Yes, it's like you go yes, to see Queen yes, and you see, like, I don't yes. know, fucking Mumford and Sons beforehand. That sounds like a dreadful concert. <laughs> yeah, it's dreadful. Uh, that, my friend, this is foreplay. <laughs> <laughs> but, so, remember Kingdom Hearts 2 when we had that fight against, like, where we had to beat, like, a thousand Heartless? Mm. This is like that, but on steroids. Oh. There's even more Heartless now. There are literally, like, millions of... Sc- Squiggly boys and demon towers squiggly and boys, squirrely boys, squirrely boys and and angry boys and well, it's the PS4. They can render more, so I know. yeah, chuck them in. That was There's... the advert, wasn't it? PS4 <laughs> render, more. render more. There are a <laughs> more squiggly boys. No, they do manage to fend enough off to run further after Xehanort. Um, and as the dust settles, we see. <gasps> Terra. Terra. Que pasa? Ven rushes out, but is pulled back by Aqua, who senses something being amiss. Yeah. As she does, Terra's hair goes white. Oh. As the 13th is finally revealed, Terranold. Wait. He radiates darkness, saying that before they even face the 13, they must be torn heart from body. But fear not, he says, summoning no name. The Keyblade will still be forged. So old man Xehanor isn't carrying no name right now. Terranor is. No, remember, the, the Terranor's time traveling. Oh, so we've got a few no names dicking about here. Presumably. Two. Well, Xehanor's and, and Terranor's. Is that the idea? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, okay. There we've got no names. Yeah, I'm here for it. Um, so he, he says that their, their, their hearts need to be ripped out before they're even allowed to fight the 13. Um, the Keyblade's going to be forged. Terranor Rex. The ever-loving shit out of Ven. Oh, I mean... Um, like, Ven runs up, and he just fucking smashes him to bits. Oh. Smacks the shit out of uh, Aqua. Before Donald Duck summons the all-holy might of Zeta Flare and blasts Terra to oblivion. Excuse me? <laughs> I beg your fucking pardon. <laughs> Zeta Flare! Zeta Flare? Zeta Flare is, if I remember right, a, uh, the strongest fire spell in Final Fantasy. Right? Um, and literally, he, 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 goes to, he goes to start it and Goofy literally is like, Donald, don't do it! Because presumably it's one of those spells where if you use it, you are using all of your life energy and you are going to die if you use it. It is like a right. last resort kind of spell. And, um... Get my hopes up. Yeah, so... <laughs> literally, like, just the biggest fucking laser beam you've ever seen. Oh my god. Decimates him. Is he dead? He fucking killed Yeah. Him? What? And Donald? then Donald falls to the ground. Dead. <laughs> what? So now we're on six and twelve. Donald's, on Donald's dead. Six and twelve, yeah. Count him down. Yeah. No, it's okay. One he was one. one of the seven. Right. He was, yeah, he was an extra. Wasn't he? Oh, well, yeah. Seven, seven so and twelve. Seven and twelve. But down, twelve to it, go. It, it was a clash between seven and thirteen, so I... Like, oh, right, so that's... that's so, 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 so for the, for, the, for, the, for the science of it all, right? So the idea is almost like that's two pieces that have chinked, and now we need... Like seven more pieces no, to well, needs chink. To be a yeah, yeah. Needs to be all at once. I was gonna say he just like took a piece does off it the board. To be all at once? No, it does not need to be all at once. <laughs> he just fucking um, norted Terranor. No, he didn't Norton, right? But like, you know, I mean, if Nort's just a fucking apocalyptic oh, term now, dead. just wait until Goofy pulls a Goofy wow. and drops a rock on some kind. Of I'm really annoyed with myself. I have summarized the single coolest and most impactful scene of the game in one bullet point. What, Donald Duck killing himself? No, no, no. Well, I mean, that's only the start of it. So this entire fight with Terranor here. Um, so I'm going to try and resummon myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And remember it. Th- this is where we test my memory off script. Um, so Donald casts the Zeta Flare and dies. As he does, the Heartless swell up, all coming together into a massive tornado of millions of Heartless. The biggest... This isn't like a, a wimpy little demon tower. This isn't like a demon wave. This is millions in a absolute typhoon of a tornado. Shit. Towering above them. Right. Um, okay. Everybody goes to fight it. But we've obviously got Aqua injured looking over the downed Ven. Goofy looking over the... De- Goofy and Mickey looking over the dead Donald. Uh, Ricky... Uh, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky. Riku. And Sora looking up at it as 
waves of Heartless come out of this, decimating and destroying everybody besides Sora and Riku. Wait, what? Everybody else is dead. <gasps> and I legitimately mean dead. Wow. Due to the Heartless Tornado, which just tears through people. It devours everything of them. And who's all left alive? Sora, Sora and Riku. Riku. Mickey Mouse is dead. Mickey Mouse is dead. The 13 are fine. They're, they weren't casualties as part of the They weren't here. They're right. elsewhere. So all the goodies are fucking all dead. All the goodies are dead. Well, that's sure At least like, Donald went out in a bl- like, blast blaze really of glory. Show this fucking... Does this... Does this count no. as the clash of light and dark? No. Yeah, surely, like physically, like like almost no, almost like numerically. No, this, this no, 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 yeah, that's so. It needs to be like a keyblade hits a keyblade. You know what I mean? Like, well, boom, clash. Just happens. a battle yes. of yeah, well, yeah. It's not like if it's so. Uh, is they not watching this song going? Oh fuck! No. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not my plans. My binder it's, it's, of plans. It's not inherently a keyblade thing specifically. I mean, right. Half the organization members don't have keyblades, but. Hearts, yeah. It's it's it, sure. it's it's dark heart versus light heart. Smash smash your body scan. This has been a fucking nightmare for everybody involved. The heartless have just fucking wrecked the day. Yeah, no. So everybody's dead, causing Sora to have an absolute breakdown. Because obviously, all his strength is in his friends. <laughs> my friends are literally my power. Yeah. So he's. I'm gonna fucking murder you. And he literally <laughs> says that without his friends. He is useless. Mm-hmm. Um. So everybody's dead. Um, oh, it's, fucking hell. It, it, um, but Riku, of course, being there to reassure him, doesn't believe that. Walking forward to face the tornado. Oh, I do have a picture of the tornado. Oh, awesome. Um, holding them off for a long while before ultimately also succumbing and being blasted to nothing. The twelve, the tide swells forward past Riku consuming Sora. Wait, wait, wait. The wait, scene wait. goes to black and we get the final line of the Book of Prophecy. And so, as foretold, darkness prevailed and light expires. Oh, amazing. Oh, that's so good. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, that's so good. I love it. That's fucking cool, man. That's, yeah. And I, yeah. To be honest... I did not do that scene justice. It is one of the coolest scenes in the entire series. Honestly, if I could, I would show you the entire finale of this game because the last two hours are some of the coolest video game I have ever played through. So, as we hear that darkness has prevailed and light expires, we return to Xehanort and Erica's checkmass as Xehanort calls checkmate. Joining him, uh, joking that Erica's needs a new strategy. But Erica simply looks at the board, saying that it's his move, isn't it? He takes his king, retreating it to the back line, and saying that it's not over, much to Xehanort's teasing displeasure. Ericus simply tells him, though, that it's no fun if you know where the story's going, which I've commented is very meta-commentary from Nomura. <laughs> it's also very meta for you, Neil. <laughs> um, and that, like he said, there's more to light than meets the eye. Seven new pieces materialize on the board behind his king, and he says... That some light comes from the past. Okay. Very quickly. This would. This is very cool, right? But it, you know what would make it cooler? If I understood what fucking game they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> if, they, if they were playing actual chess yeah, and used the chess thing. Like, or maybe if he moved his queen to the final spot and it turned into, or a pawn and turned into a queen or something where it's like, as a layman, I get it. But now I'm like, Xehanort, what's your game, man? And that's, that's cool. It's cool. It's fucking sick, though. I, I love it. I love it. I love the chess thing. I love that everyone's dead. That's really sad. But like, cool. Everyone's dead. Jesus. Yeah. So you kind of called it though, Neil. No, you said. I, I well, you said the one would die. Rico, Sora or Riku. Yeah. We've got a dead Sora now. I guess. Yeah, we got a dead Sora. While he's having a fucking mental breakdown, it's not even a glorious death. No, he's it's having like, an existential crisis as his friends are dead. He's like, everyone's dying and I'm worth nothing, and everyone like my love, my empathy means fuck all. Whoa, I'm eaten. Riku's standing alone, walking the pa- path to fucking twilight, or the road to dawn, or whatever he's doing. He's, he's walking a path. <laughs> Jesus. 
So yeah. Um, so we just watched the. Well, we've taken a momentary break. Sorry, you, for you listening, you won't have experienced that. But we just watched the the epic uh, death scene of all characters except for <laughs> Riku. It seems. Um, no, including Riku. Including Everyone Riku, dead. everyone goes. Everyone's dead. Sora's dead. Everybody's dead. Right. Okay. I thought it was Sora and Riku's managing to hold his. No. 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 R- R- Riku was trying to hold him back, but even he got overwhelmed, and then after he was gone, they just fucking so ate Sora. We just witnessed the death of all. Um... Everyone's dead. Lighting fucking fire. awesome. I mean, yeah, like, that sad, was so obviously. good. That was one of the uh, best cutscenes you've shown me. Though. Yeah, like so- Sora crying and being like, "My my friends are literally all I have." Like that's that's fucking that hit like, quite a lot. That's that's yeah, that was pretty pretty good. Um. Yeah, continue. I, I mean, guess. they're not dead, dead. Well, no, the heartless just no, eat, eat their hearts, right? Yeah. No, they're not dead, dead because they didn't go into shimmery silver sparkles, so they're not dead, dead. How can oh. you see? How can you see silvery shimmer sparkles <laughs> if they are engulfed by a dark tornado? Fair point. Yeah. So, Sora awakens in a sea of clouds. No, he, he's still alive. Okay. His body. <laughs> well, is he? Or is this heaven? He awakens in a sea of clouds. His body transparent. Oh. He wanders about this endless plain. Nothing in sight. An endless sea of clouds. It clouds back. I hate you. <laughs> After some time, he is joined by a Chirithi. Oh, your favorite, Monty. Wait, the things from... Who introduces himself and welcomes him to the final world. The, this is the thing from back cover. From back cover, yes. The thing that signified a traitor. No, 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 no. Remember, oh, everybody had everybody one in back cover. Right, okay, okay. It was the dark one signified the traitor. Right, okay. This is just a normal one. This is just a normal one. Okay. It was a charity. Okay. Look at his see through body. The charity explains that there's nothing past this world. This is the final world. Noting that Sora has wandered here more than once in past when traveling to the Station of Awakening. After all, the edges of sleep and death touch. And one can't help the occasional crossover. Chirithi continues to explain that Sora's body and heart perished. But that something is holding him here. He's hanging by a thread. Sora asks where his friends are, but unfortunately is told that he arrived alone. So they're either gone or clinging to the world that he came from. Sora summons his Keyblade, determined to go back, but is stopped by Chirithi who explains that unlike his prior visits where he came by choice, he can't simply just leave. If he wants to return, he first needs to piece himself together. The final world is at the deepest depths of sleep. Right. It is at, you asked what is the core of darkness? Mm. It's the final world. What is the core of sleep? Right. It's the final world. So as in everyone who dies essentially you has 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 been at the brink of almost going to sleep. It's almost like the so like a if if you go too deep into sleep, you are on the edge of death. You are on the yeah. cusp of yeah. death. And if you actually die, you just pass that, you pass through the final world into death. Right. So, and your so, heart rejoins with Kingdom Hearts. So if you die, it's not like you have a stop, like a like a train station stop. No. Station no, no. no. You, you, like you, you pass through the Station of Awakening, but death. some are held here. Yeah, this is pretty like unusual this. that he's yeah. here. Yeah. There, there are some that are held here for various purposes, but it's, it's kind of like ghost rules, like unfinished business kind of stuff mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. that holds you to this specific final world. Okay. Um... So Sora walks around, collecting pieces of himself and slowly regaining his form. Uh, this entire world is this very weird, like MC Escher esque. Like people are wandering on walls. You've got a bajillion oh, so Soras that you need yeah. to all walk around. They're like appearing from thin air and going in weird cycles, and everything's trippy. Um, cool. I and love it. from a gameplay perspective, this part sucks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right. But from like a thematic looking at it perspective, it's very cool. Because it's literally just you run around, you have to essentially play tag with all the other forms and collect them all as Sora slowly regains his form. Right. Um, so it's almost like Sora's rebuilt. He's rebuilding himself. He's, he's trying to come back from the brink of death, I guess. Essentially, yeah. Okay. So he's, oh. he's trying to rebuild himself to come back. So as he's wandering around, he talks to stars, the last remnants of hearts holding onto this world, and hears their story. One particular star he comes across triggers a cutscene. So they, so you know, you know they're important. 
unlike the others, this one actually speaks to Sora. Right. So the other is kind of like, they say their piece, but they won't respond to Sora. Right. This one actually has a conversation with Did Sora. Did they come up as almost like dialogue boxes? Essentially, yeah. Right, okay. Sora, question, uh, it questions how Sora has retained his form. Sora asks for their name, to which they reply that they are no one anymore. They took away her name. They took everything about her. Right, this is either Shion or this is the girl, capital T, capital G. Unless they're the same person. Unless they're the same person, we still don't know, yeah. They explain that they're waiting for someone, but that he's been changed beyond recognition, his heart replaced with another's. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. if he mm -hmm. were to regain his old self again, Boxes. he would be distressed by her absence. Sora tells her that if he sees him, <laughs> Sora tells her that if he sees him, He'll tell him that they're waiting there and ask his name, to which the star whispers in Sora's ear. Because, you know, of course we can't just know the fucking name. Yeah. We need some theory fodder as to who the fuck this is, who the fuck... I will say, there are some very... We do not know who this is. For, oh, right, okay. for concrete, we do not know who this is, but there are some very... There are kind of two very strong theories. One of them leaning more towards being the correct one okay but i will say that we do not know who this is wow, this okay. is currently a mystery that's so exciting to me um <laughs> such i've gone really into this that's really exciting yeah. um yeah the name seems to surprise sora almost as if he recognizes it um but the star laughs uh, and he looks at the star which laughs saying that it's their secret the fuck who is this Hmm. So okay, so he okay. Continuing along, Sora meets another star along the road. Nominees. <gasps> oh. She explains that she was in Kyrie's heart, but after they were locked to the darkness, you know, a second ago, mm. she found herself in the final world. So would Kyrie just died? <laughs> Nominees stuck here now. I guess Kyrie didn't have a, a a purpose to stick around for, like a ghost. It would seem so. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> Kyrie, no purpose. Yeah. Well, you can also be tethered here by somebody else who's like right. holding you back. Oh, okay. Um. So it's not necessarily just Sora's purpose. He could be being held back by somebody. Oh, yeah. Right. Um. So, Nominee uh, can feel Kyrie's heart and reveals that she's fighting with all her strength to keep Sora from fading away. Sora tells her that he'll rescue Kyrie so that she can get, uh, so that he can get Nomine out of there too. Before he leaves, though, Nomine tells him that she was tracing memories, um, and in doing so, she spoke to Terra. His lingering will is keeping him tethered to the realm of light, oh. and that she'll try tracing that connection, wanting it to be what tips the balance. Sora continues on, collecting more pieces of himself, and the world changes around him. Buildings sprouting from the grounds, uh, the pieces of himself walk on the walls and upside down. Uh, the world just kind of gets trippier and trippier as you go on. But ultimately, you do collect enough pieces and regain your form. He meets Chirithi again, who asks um, if, you know, is, you have your form. Isn't it time you left? Get out of here. Yeah. Um, and Sora asks Chirithi, why do you look like yourself? Why is everybody else here a star? Why do you look like yourself? So he's, he's like, do, do you need your help finding your pieces? And Chirithi's, Chirithi's like, we, we, we don't work like that. You know, we're, we're good. Um, Sorta continues to ask um, if it's then that Chirithi's waiting for somebody, to which Chirithi replies, something like that. Sora asks who, trying to help, but is stopped by Chirithi, who says that he doesn't remember the past. Besides, I'm sure that he's much happier with his new friends. Oh. Who's he? Who's the Chirithi waiting for? Well, who was, who was it the Chirithi of? Like, yeah. which one of the, the, the four... Which one of the foretellers? foretellers. Not yeah. just the foretellers, but the it was everybody in Aidray Town. So, like, like, like players in Union Cross got a charity, right? thousands of charities. Oh, fuck, so it could, be, it could be... There's no hint here, really. It just could be anybody. He doesn't remember the past, I suppose, is the closest hint we have, but that's... Does that... Is that meant to mean something to us who haven't played Union Cross? No. Okay, okay. That's, <laughs> fine. that's fine, that's fine. Okay. Um, I will say, by this point... Um, Union Cross players would know what this means. Oh, they would—they'd be like immediately. Yes, I, I get that. Union Cross cool. players. There are a lot of moments in here that I've not really gone as much in depth to. That's fine. That by the time they happen in these mainline games, Union Cross players would be like, "Oh, oh, mm -hmm. I, I get that." Cool. 
and I'll come back to them and I'll recontextualize them when one day we go into Union Cross, but okay, um, we can leave it at. We do know who this charity is waiting for. Sure, sure, sure. Um, sure. but you shouldn't. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you did. Great. No, I, I was um, like, you know, is it meant to be Roxas? You know, Sora style. No. So, um, Sora says that in that case, you know, we're friends now. And and Chirithi's like, oh, it's been so long since I've had friends. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh. Um, Sora's like, all my friends are dead. So you're my friend now. <laughs> you're uh, being my friend. <laughs> Sora goes to leave, but stops just before kind of turning around and asking for a hint from the Chirithi of how to save the others. Mm. Uh, Chirithi gives him like a seriously aren't you you are a keyblade wielder aren't you presumably because things like this would have would have been much more commonplace back in the realm, the age of fairy tales where this Chirithi came from right um it, it's kind of implied a lot there are a lot of like ancient keyblade arts that have been lost to time kind of thing asking if he hasn't already learned how to restore somebody's heart after it's been lost you know Good old Power Awaken. Power Awaken, yeah. Power Awaken. Yeah. We uh, all knew how to do that back in the day. Sora asks Chirithi, uh, well, it seems like it's, it's more like it was like Keyblade 101 Power Awaken mm. kind of thing back in the day, seemingly. Um, Sora asks Chirithi if it means the Power Awaken, and, um, and it's like, uh, maybe? I don't know. I mean, try it, man. Try it. Sora says that it will take all his heart, summoning his Keyblade and opening a keyhole, breaking a hole into the realm that I should note this portal that he opens here mm. we've only ever seen in one other place mm. in this series so every other portal we've seen so far in this game is like just essentially a swirling light portal yeah this one very explicitly looks like the portals that Sora opened into sleeping worlds in dream drop distance okay okay um, makes sense and this Opens the door for something that I had seen some commenters want me to cover, and I refuse. There is a 500, 600 page theory. No, there isn't. Called the Sleeping Realms Theory that oh. essentially postulates that the entirety of Kingdom Hearts 3 takes place in a dream. Oh, no, that's not the case, though, because that um, would be shit. Yeah, no, and this is the, this is no, the, no, the reason it says Sleeping thing. Portal is because he's in the Sleeping it Realms is, right now, that's it why. Is, shockingly compelling there's way too much evidence that backs it up it's the mass effect 3 thing yeah you know yeah you know what else is shockingly compelling the mass effect 3 indoctrination theory but it definitely isn't the case like sure i look i haven't read the theory and i haven't played them so fair enough take me with a pinch of salt but i'm not interested in that the issue is the sleeping realms theory knowing nomura has every possibility of being true it does because yeah fucking but yeah. But, surely, but, but as of right now it exists in theory and we can just point out as a weird odd point this <laughs> sure hey man maybe it's a bonus episode sometime in the future but not today i don't please. want to cover it i've never finished reading it it's 600 pages that's fine i don't oh, so want is it to literally like so like a fan is i've this sent up. it to you before have you yes i haven't read it it's <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't expect you to i haven't read it and i'm the kingdom hearts fan I, I, I just feel like, no, I'm not going to get into this. What I was going to say, though, it, surely it makes sense for him to do a, a sleeping portal here because he's in the realm of... No, he's not. You told us... He is beyond, is the, he's beyond of, the realm of sleep. Yeah, so in order passing to get back there, through, He's passing back through. Yeah. And also, every other portal we have seen the same guy open in this game don't look like that. They look like regular portals. Yeah. We can leave it at... Um, shout out in the comments if you ever want me to torment them with it. Maybe I will read oh, it. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> but um, for now, we can leave it at. Just keep a note that it's a, it's a sleeping portal. Um, so he passes through. Chirithi tells him to let his heart be his guiding key, sending him off. Sora returns briefly uh, to before he was swallowed and again watches as Riku is overwhelmed and the heartless consume him. So he he, he kind of returns to that moment right before. Vague little, tiny, tiny little squidge of time travel there. <laughs> Gets to see Riku die again. Goody, goody. Oh. Uh, but this time, as he's consumed, he sees a light in the darkness and follows, finding himself in Olympus Colosseum. He finds Riku's ghostly form floating further inside, but is met by a heartless figure, the Lich. 
the, the lich. lich. The awesome. Lich. I love like a the li- Lich King. I love a Lich. Well, a Lich is just a general yeah. fantasy. It's, yeah. it's more like the Grim Reaper, to be honest, but... Cool, all right. Oh, Look at that fucking scepter. That's this, sick. This design looks like a really good mix of, of Kingdom Hearts and Disney. Yeah, and I don't yeah. know how to explain it any better than that. True. Yeah. Um, it draws Riku's heart from its from his chest, binding it in chains before swallowing it into the darkness of itself and flying off. Shit, okay. Um, Sora tracks it down, beating him off, causing it to release Riku's heart, which returns to Riku. Uh, Jiminy, who is also, he's popped out of Sora's pocket. He's been, he's been here the whole time. Jiminy's in his pocket, says that Riku will wake where he fell as Sora did. How the fuck do you know this, Jiminy? We don't question. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that they need to go after the others. Sora follows the Lich through the portal that it just teleported away through. Um, and through the portal, Sora finds himself falling, diving, um, and sees a number of stained glass platforms below him. So he's diving through a number of people's hearts. Um, which, which platforms does he see? We'll get there. But oh, they're sorry. all, as of right now, they're all encompassed by darkness. We can't actually see them. Right. Jiminy says that they may be portals to other worlds, to which Sora says that they'll find the others there. Uh, the formula is a bit samey here. You follow the Lich into each Disney World individually. One of the your, your pals gets their heart stolen. You beat the Lich, save their heart, go to the next world. Do we do do them all? Is there anybody we miss? No, we do all of them. Cool, cool. Okay, including um, Donald and Goofy. Fuck Donald and Goofy. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I don't actually remember. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, probably not because fuck Donald and Goofy, but... Um, Sora defeats the Lich, freeing... Um, the last heart and goes into the next world. Defeating the Lich in the final world, San Francisco, Sora says that there's still one short. Kyrie's heart. Okay. Oh. He's approached by young Xehanort, who tells him that, him that for all the gallivanting he's done through the sleeping worlds, he's clearly learned nothing. I'm sorry, what was that about a sleeping theory being wrong? Well... Surely well, no, he's talking about Dream Drop <laughs> Distance. Yeah, Dream yeah, he's just talking about Dream Drop Distance. Where he visited yeah. him and constantly mocked him yeah. numerous <laughs> times during the game. Yeah. He nearly he nearly fell to the darkness of sleep, and here he is doing it again. We're sleeping again, motherfuckers! <sighs> Young Xehanort explains that... Just when I thought we were done with Dream Drop Distance! I just fucking don't want to do it anymore! I hate this game! Right, it's okay. the best one! No! Young Xehanort explains <laughs> that the Lich isn't like other Heartless. Uh. Its purpose is to usher hearts into the darkness after death. So it is literally the Grim Reaper. That seems oh, really oh, heartless. Seems like Xehanort yeah. seems, seems like Xehanort should be helping him fight that because that is not what he wants to be happening right yeah, now. Yeah, we're, we're, we're he wants flash. to. He should be helping helping him wake them all up. Like, yeah, get up, guys. We need to do the clash of light and dark. Sorry, the heartless this got in the way. Been, as beautiful and sad as this has all been, it's been a massive diversion to their plan as well. Yeah. they must be standing at the side of the battlefield watching this, going, oh, "Shit." <laughs> We've been planning this for 50 years. I mean, it's fine. Now I'll just go get the princesses. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. Like Still feels like a huge else. waste. Well, I, I, no, no, you, you're right, though. Yeah, no, I guess. Like, the idea, you wipe out the guardians so, like, the princesses are unprotected, right? So yeah. it just makes their job very easy. Fight, okay. And you don't have any risk of dying. God, if yeah. only they just... Just did that in the, first place. in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. When there were like a handful of Guardians of Light that couldn't have gotten in the way because Sora's busy doing shit. Right, yeah, sure. Um, Continue, Chris. Hey, so, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the, the Lich is the Grim Reaper. It ushers hearts into darkness after death. Um, if Sora... Ch- because remember that Kingdom Heart, all hearts after they die return to Kingdom Hearts, which is in darkness. Yes. Um, so if Sora chases it, he'll condemn his heart to the same abyss. Sora says that his heart's strong, but young Xehanort realize, asks if he even realizes what the power of waking is. Do you understand what the power of waking is? At this point, no. Do you understand what Kingdom Hearts is? <laughs> this point, <laughs> kind of. No, okay, so, 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 so my, understanding of the, my understanding of the power of waking is basically that you're able to wake up other, the heart, other people's hearts from sleep, in a sense. So, for example, if... For argument's sake, Riku had a really close connection with Ventus. Actually, you know what? Better example, Aqua. Aqua could probably use the power of waking on Ven inside Sora's heart and put it into Ven's body. Arguably, if she knew the power of waking. That's my understanding of the power of waking. You can wake up people from heart comas that we've seen. Whatever you want to call them. So, is, is that correct? Am I... Young Xehanort explains that... <laughs> 
the power, sake. Well, he, he, as young Xander explains that the power of waking isn't for traversing hearts to re, is is for excuse me traversing hearts to reach world, not to traverse worlds to reach hearts. What does that mean? So <laughs> is for traversing worlds to reach. Essentially, hearts. what Sor is doing here is he is using the power to teleport between worlds to chase after hearts. What it's meant to be is that you are unlocking hearts to reach worlds. What worlds? So like worlds. sleeping worlds or sleeping hearts or you right. But, but he was already going that. he was already going between all the sleeping worlds. Yeah. Yensu just said he them. was he was unlocking their he wasn't um, he wasn't traversing worlds to reach hearts. He was traversing the hearts to reach the worlds. So he was going from world to world using this power, not going from heart to heart using the worlds. Right. He was going from world to world using the hearts. Right, but but worlds have hearts. Yes. So you can traverse hearts, i.e. the hearts of worlds. To reach other worlds, yes. Yes. You can't, you, you can't traverse worlds to reach other hearts, though. No, I'm it's, still not getting it. I'm, I'm gonna, not getting it, I'm not gonna lie. It's very convoluted, and frankly, I don't 100% understand it either. Okay. Um, and I watched about, because of this specific scene, I watched probably about 15 Her different face. theory videos <laughs> on what the power of waking is before I came here. I, I appreciate the work you, you're doing into this. Um, uh, I am very confused as to what the power of waking Can I, okay, easy, very simple, easy yes or no question, I guess, right? Can, does Riku have the power of waking as young Xehanort understands it? Yes. Does young Xehanort understand the power of waking the same way that Yen Sid understands yes. it? So, so they, I, they're on the same page. Everybody's on the same page. So Except for Sora. Can you, can you just explain to me then, just I think it will help to re recontextualize this, how Riku was using the power of awakening in Dream Drop Distance. So mm. he was opening up the hearts of these sleeping worlds to right. reach other worlds. Yes, okay. So he was traversing hearts to reach worlds. Right. What Sora is doing here is he is traversing the worlds, he's diving through and teleporting to these worlds to reach hearts. I'm still not, I'm still hearts, not sure specifically I why one Hearts that have been lost. That's my question. Why is this in, Why is this a useful ability that Yen Sid wants them to have? I understand helping the sleeping worlds, but why is it useful for the Xehanort fight? It doesn't seem to be... It seems actually quite a shitty ability. It doesn't really do, do much, except for save the sleeping worlds. But for the gold here... What's the end game? Uh, Can you not tell us yet? Is that is that... No, it's just, frankly, it's very difficult to explain in a okay. way that That's fine. I don't fully understand it. And I don't think that Nomura fully understands it, if I'm honest. Oh, curiosity, is this where the Sleeping Realms theory comes into? Because this is becoming more and more interesting by the minute. Um, the, <laughs> if it can explain this shit. It We're can. not touching it today. <laughs> not today, no, it, we don't have time. This, as far as I'm aware from what I know of the Sleeping Realms theory, it does explain it. Interesting. Okay. But, frankly, <clears throat> it's been implied that we do not know the extent or full explanation of what the power of waking is by the end of Kingdom Hearts 3. But ultimately, what this boils down to is Young Zeno's the baddies or whatever, ultimately, right? But what? Yen Sid has sent them what Dream Drop Distance, as far as the test that they were sent on, means fuck all. No. Not not narratively, not structurally as Nomura as a writer. It makes sense in that no, regard. But needed, Yen Sid's purpose he here. The power to, he, he, you still need the power to wake up sleeping Ooh. hearts. But, but, like Ven. But but we're not. But that's not what the power waking's for. And the power waking's for worlds. That's what we've learned. No no no. no you, you don't All hearts. Words. You can, but you traverse hearts. So remember, like for example, right. Sora traversed his own heart to reach Ven's. World. I could go through Monty's heart to get to the heart of Agraba. And, and he used it right. to access Ven's world so that he could wake Ven up. Okay. So 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 do so so using Monty's heart to get to Agraba as an example, right? Would I have had to have memories and experiences of Agraba for you to get to Agraba? I don't know. Presumably so, right? So, so yeah, I, th I think we're asking questions of you that you can't answer. We're, we're yeah. asking this, to be honest, I, I get it. This is for <clears throat> theory crafters far more understanding than me. To leave it at the important thing here, what Sora is doing here, using it to bring back dead hearts, mm. is deeply taboo. Right. So, oh. to leave it at the, okay, the, the simplest explanation that matters right now, Sora is breaking a major taboo here, and there's a high price for doing that. Okay. 
Okay. Right. We don't know what the price is. He's not He's not clear about that. We don't know. So going to die. Yeah, um, that's what I'm getting. So, young Xanar walks off saying how there's no saving Sora now. He's paid his price and it lies at the bottom of the abyss. Right. Um, Sora gets a call on his gummy phone. <laughs> he's um, dead. As, no, 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 no. So, world. he's not in a sleeping world. At this point, he is just in San Francisco. Oh, like the, the San Francisco who was in earlier. He's just in San Francisco. Right, okay. He is okay. not in a sleeping world. He is not dead anymore. He's back from the dead. Um, Things shouldn't come back from the dead. That's unnatural. That's mm. taboo. Um, So he gets a call. Uh, uh, Jim Dale are like, a new path is open to the Keyblade Graveyard. And so is... And Sora's like, oh shit, yeah, the Keyblade Graveyard. That's the one place I didn't look for Kyrie. And he opens up one last portal, finding Kyrie on the way there. Aww. Says so he feels strong with her. I would just like to point out that there's this whole taboo, blah, 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 from young Xehanort. Didn't, albeit not through the same means, a bunch of them brought themselves back from death in that some was, form or another. Or is that not the... That's a different that, wasn't, kind of, that wasn't death, though, right, because that was separation, in time was travel, like, they were still alive at the times where they were brought okay, back okay, from. Sure, yeah. So... Sure, man, but it's like it's 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 different Feels means semantic. same yeah. outcome. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> different means same outcome. Like, what if what if Jensen appeared as like, sorry, I'm sending you back in time to save but, yourself but to before in, the key blade graveyard. A, but in a timeline sense, one because fate's predeterminate. Right, nothing's gonna sure. change. And two, every person's timeline has an endpoint. Sora is extending that endpoint and breaking a taboo. What if yeah, okay. oh, you're probably gonna smile and move on, right? But what if in the book of prophecies, lol, 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 lol. What if it's in there that Sora, like... Is this Sora usurping destiny, or is this Sora fulfilling destiny? Is know. it in the book? We don't know. We don't, why would okay. you say that? Well, because we, we've, been, we've been looking at the whole, like, we can't wait for someone to yeah, fuck in. And we, it's like, is this the fist pump moment um, where someone usurps destiny? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to smile and continue, because frankly, I don't know. Fuck me. Um, okay, okay, fine, not, fine, not fine. Explain. Okay. Um, yeah, so. it doesn't feel as cathartic <laughs> as I hoped it would, um, but okay. So, he, he finally finds Kyrie, and she guides... Um, who we know, remember, uh, can't lose her heart. She's a princess of heart. Mm. So she was just kind of floating in darkness, tethering everybody back. Oh. Because she's cool. a princess of heart. And she has magic light powers. Cool. So that's why she's just kind of been sitting here. Kind of love that for Kyrie. Good for you, Kyrie. Yeah. Is she did a thing, like a really useful thing. I'm here for Go, it. Go, Kyrie. She guides Sora to the light and they awaken with everybody else. Back in the Keyblade Graveyard. Wait, is Tower is, is Tower Nord dead? So we haven't gone back in time here. We've just so brought everyone back. We've gone back in time about five minutes. Oh. Um, we are right before we approached Terror Nord. So there are um, there there is there there's is another a, set of them over the hill about to die. Then no. Why that uh, seems like a paradox. We've, we've just we've re-entered the time stream right before. There is a reason for this. Frankly, I don't remember it. That's fine. Um. Yeah, there, there, there is a reason why we're like reset five minutes. I just don't remember it. Okay, cool, um, cool. It'd be funny if it just all went down the same way again. Yeah. The so, so we're pre-Donald blowing himself up to kill Terranor. Great. So the plan is, guys, we're gonna have a different strategy this time. <laughs> Terranor's gonna appear. Take two. Yeah. <laughs> Mid monologue, we all just jump him. So, Problem solved, and then we scatter. So. <laughs> Uh, they walk forward. Yeah. Again, find Terranor without the white hair, and the scene plays out exactly the same. Right. Line for line, shot for shot, exactly identical. Wait, does Ven go for him? Does he get smacked? Yeah. Uh, well, up to the point where Terranor goes to strike Ven. Right. This time, however, his blade is blocked. The dust settles, and we see. <gasps> the living will armor. Lingering, but yes. Lingering will, sorry. Yeah! yeah. It's How did Terra. That... Remember, Nominee in the final world was saying, I was able to talk to Terra's the lingering, lingering will. Yeah. And I'm going to try and... Give him a heads yeah, up. Te a is that Terra in there, or is that the, just the armor? It is... It's Terra's will, It's, it's it? Terra's will. Right. But Terra's still stuck in, in Terra's Terra heart. heart. This is the same, because these it's two have wrong. already had a fight. They have. Yeah, and the yeah. Lingering Will fucking trashed Terra yeah. so... Yeah. Like, the Lingering Will, remember how at the end of Birth I Sleep, it just sat down on that pillar. It's been sitting here this whole time since Birth by Sleep in the Keyblade Graveyard. Just waiting for Just to... biting. You can actually fight it in Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, It's the hardest fight in the series. Um, bar none, it's so hard. This is fucking... Yeah, okay, keep going, keep going. I'm, 
<laughs> I'm on the edge of my Good. seat. Yeah. yeah we're, we're back. We're past. We're past bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it. Everyone's back. We saved the day. It's fine. Everyone's back. Big battle time. Um. <laughs> so, uh, Terra fights. Well, uh, lingering will rather fights off Terranort as the Heartless gather once more into the Watch. tornado. Everyone runs. <laughs> Not again! Uh, this time, however, instead of breaking down, Sora jumps immediately into action, striking at the heart of the tornado. Um, but as he goes and strikes, he's caught up in a bi blinding light. In the white, we see a boy. <gasps> no, is it? Is it really? Give it to me. Oh. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're not Roxas. Is this, is this, you should recognize this. This is back cover kid yeah, with the uh, weird curly. What's his name? It's Ephemer. 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 Why is he? He's not Roxas. Do you remember what <laughs> Ericus you know. said? Ericus said the seven from the past were going to come. Some lights will come from the past. This is actually, oh. this is my single favorite part of the entire game. Really? Uh, this part is really cool. <laughs> um, are the foretellers going to pop through as well? It's like fucking oh, yas. So, uh. Sure. The light blinds, and he sees, um, Ephemer, who asks him if he needs some help. Back on the ground, Sora and others watch as the thousands of Keyblades from the Keyblade graveyard fly above and into a stream above their heads, creating a tide of Keyblades to fight the storm. Oh my god. All the Keyblades of the fallen Keyblade wielders of the past, the lights oh, of the past, no. come to assist. That's really fucking cool. Awesome. It is very cool. Sora jumps yeah, on, yeah, yeah. riding them. Yeah, see the bear. Oh. Um, and I, I, I will point out, this is, this, frankly, it's fan bait. Um, I don't care. But in, in the best way, these Keyblades specifically, which I will point out, remember when I said the star on top of the chest pieces? Yeah. It's the one from this. This is the Keyblade you get in Union Cross. Okay, cool. Oh, so cool. this is your kingdom key in Union Cross, essentially. Um, oh, I love, I love that for the Union Cross players. They get, like, a little bit of validation for their stupid oh, mobile game. It's a lot more than a little in <laughs> yeah, okay. Give me one second. Um, they go into the heart of the tornado where he joins his heart with the Keyblades, and we get a deluge of reaction commands as all of the Keyblades fight the massive stream, and we see the names of every single player of Union Cross who fought in the Keyblade graveyard. Oh, my God. As every single player of the original game helps us fight off the impending that is darkness. Sick. I love that. Wait, so like, so like, but the, like, you're, you're in there. If you played Union Cross, you played Union Sadly, Union sadly, I, so, qu quick correction. Like this is, this is actually not technically Union Cross, it's Kingdom Hearts key. But, um, okay. so I was not playing then, but this is all of the original players who essentially, when the Keyblade War event happened in game, they collected the names of every wow. single player at that time, wow. and then put it here that this is then every single player who fought in the Keyblade War coming to help you fight off the darkness. Oh, this I is, this is, this might be, this might, look, I, like, I, I fucking hate that you can cross the mobile game and all, you've heard it all before, right? This is, this is so cool. This is like, this is, this is peak. This yeah. is the peak. You can also yeah. see things like, you see their union emblem. Yeah. And oh. I'm pretty sure that it's each, um, the Keyblade that they used in game. It's very cool. Together with the Keyblade wielders of the past, they manage to defeat the onslaught of Heartless, and Sora watches as the Keyblades of the past return to the light um, to finally rest again in the Keyblade graveyard. Love it. Their battle isn't over, though, because as the dust settles, we see Dark Riku approach. Riku's old sword in hand. He summons a demon of darkness, um, saying that this will be the true mark of mastery exam. Oh, fuck off. He summons even more demon power towers to surround them. Mickey looks at his Keyblade, prepared to do something, but is stopped by Riku, who tells him that if he uses time magic, he won't have enough strength for the final battle. So Miku's just gonna freeze time here. That's fine. Look, it's, it's fine. It's a fair explanation for why he can't day set his machina out with, <laughs> out with this. It's fine. Well, it's okay, because he doesn't have to, because luckily, they don't need light magic, because suddenly, a tower of light beams down from the sky as Yen Sid joins the battle. <laughs> he T-poses to assert dominance and pulls, <laughs> and pulls a fucking Moses, splitting the Heartless Sea with light to create a path to the organization. Oh, now you get involved. Now you get involved. You After really. they've already died once. <laughs> no. you, didn't you just... Do, you should have been here at the start, man. If you could do this the whole time. Legit. 
You can do this, surely. Oh yeah, yeah, fine. But again, fuck. This doesn't. This doesn't fix anything, Yen Sid. You're still a fuck. But uh, awesome. He urges on the guardians, and Donald and Goofy say that they'll stay behind to help Yen Sid uh, fight off, uh, hold back the Heartless. Cool. So all the Disney characters are staying back except for Mickey, and we're on to real Kingdom Hearts shit. Yes. Yes, love it. Cool. Arriving at last at the crossroads, the organization approaches. Oh, awesome. Ooh, I love it. Um, of course, uh, for our lovely mysteriousness, everybody's back in their hoods except for Xehanort. Um, Xehanort, of course, spouts his usual nonsense about okay. unlocking the Keyblade Ward's secret, uh, forging the Keyblade. Yeah. Yeah. Um, years ago, there was a battle. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and creating a maze. Oh, he creates a maze. Oh. Um, yeah, you, you remember this? And this, this, <laughs> categorically, is what I remember onwards. Yeah. Finally, we got to shit I remember, I think. I yeah, think. so he... I remember the maze. Of course, uh, like, with him, his, his whole his whole lovely favorite move being just raising massive pillars of earth, he creates just a massive maze. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. Essentially, Why? Because he wants to just clash. They're right in the middle of the... Well, the, the maze is essentially just to break it into smaller battles. <laughs> so it's, instead of it being a seven on ten, it's like two on three battles. Um, Again, Xehanort can just summon darkness down from the fucking sky, as we saw in Birth by Sleep. Why doesn't he just do that? All right. We'll get there. Uh, <laughs> he, he, he draws himself and the organization into the sky upon one of the walls. They look down to look imposing. Mm. Uh, the members split, going throughout the maze um, to fight. I can't wait for Terra to overpower Terra. No. 100%. First battle, Mickey versus Luxord, Larkseen, and Marluxia. So three of the four... The, the, the three not benched um ones with an ancient Keyblade legacy. Say goodbye tomorrow to, to Luxor. Well, like I'm, I'm honestly a little bit like upset and scared. Who, who's in the black orb in this picture? We've got an orb with everybody. It's a that shot. is that is Xemnas. Right. Um, you don't fight him here. He kind of just creates a barrier to lock you in a battle. Cool, 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 cool. Um, arena time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he creates a battle arena and then teleports away. Seems unnecessary. But um, okay. I think he also imbues Luxord yeah, with some... Anyway. Yeah. He also imbues Luxord with, like, super strength, essentially. So there's like, I already created a maze. What are you doing? He's like, I'm creating a maze within your maze. Luxord needed the help. Um... Yeah, so uh, mid-battle, Xemnas blasts the three with energy, giving them renewed strength before he portals off. Luxord comes forward, capturing Mickey in a playing card as he oh. as he did back in Cage 2, um, uh, and, and tells Sora that he wants one final game. Uh, so he's essentially like, I have a bunch of cards, find Mickey while we fight you. Haha, -ha, one final game. Uh, so of course Sora, Sora kills him. Um, <laughs> but of course he dies. He gives Sora... A card telling him it's a wild card and that he's earned it. Oh, okay. Saying that perhaps it may turn the tables. Wild card, baby! <laughs> as as he dies, Sora tells him that he'll play him again one day when they're both just guys. Well, Luxord Sora says that. Luxord oh. says that he'd very much like that and fades away. Oh. Mickey Freed, next they kill off Larkseen. She mentions how she never really was there to be Xehanort's heart tank saying that she was just along for the ride. When, Zorna, when Sora asks, with? She re simply replies with, my secret, and dies. Okay. She could be the, that's another, she, is she, she the mystery girl? And it was, it was a, it's a secret, was what we heard from the star. Yeah. So she could be a reincarnation of one of the back cover characters we met. Yeah. Is the potential, yeah. yeah sure. Okay, okay. So, Rest in peace, Larkseen. Good night. Finally, with, finally, interest. they defeat Marluxia. He looks down at his hands, oh. commenting how now it all comes back to me. His heart's remembering to feel, and now he's on the cusp of reclaiming his identity, his purpose for being. Before he can expound, though, he dies. Back, back he's cover also, again. Yeah, yeah. He's also a potential I reckon that's. Power. I reckon that's. It, it, the hair looks a lot like um, Unicorn Man. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Okay, so so there, so so Sora is killing these nobodies, mm -hmm. and they and as they die, they are remembering, which means presumably they are turning into the foretellers. I guess that's the goal, right? They're there. He's like dead nobody, and then they're like, oh my god, I'm being reborn, and it's like ah, I'm reborn as like I don't know what I don't remember any of the unicorn man, you know, I mean, like the hair is the same as unicorn man. And is it? Did he have pink hair? Did he have well, pink no, hair no, not the not the color, but the but the the style of the hair certainly is reminiscent to me of Unicorn Man. 
I'm sure you'll get there. Sorry. We, yeah, but we we are very. I think we're both agreed on this. The the yeah. theory right now is definitely that yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> these guys are the foretellers somehow in some weird way. Keep it going. Keep it going. Mickey leaves, going after Xemnas, and Sora goes to join uh, the next fight: Riku versus Dark Riku, Zigbar, and Ansem, Seeker of Darkness. Riku on his own. That's a hell of a fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, just just like Xemnas, Ansem sits there for a second, then he teleports away as well. Cool, 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 cool. Mid-battle, Ansem covers the arena in darkness and attempts to leave. Riku jumps at him, but is stopped by Dark Riku, who knocks him to the floor. Ansem portals away, leaving Sora to defend the now unconscious Riku. So this is not Replica Riku that Riku had a chat with on Destiny Islands. This no, is Replica this is- Riku 2.0. Yes, cool, correct. Cool. No problem, no problem, correct. no problem, no problem. This, this so, game done to our brains. <laughs> the good one is Replica, this is Replica Riku. Great, I think Fuck that's Replica Riku. sensible, yeah. Yeah. So he first knocks out Zigbar. He says how it figures. If I had a Keyblade, it'd be different. Oh, fucking Zigbar, man. He's like Donald Duck, still trying to get a fucking key. There's Keyblades everywhere, man. Just pick one up. Oh, they're right there. Sora <laughs> mocks him. Saying that, like you're actually worthy to use one. Whoa. I cuts deep. Speak to sin, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> to which I've written, as if there aren't any wielders of darkness, but I ate Sora be a light whore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fair. Zigbar replies, however, that, oh, he is worthy. Hmm? Sora asks what he means, to which Zigbar tells him that the only reason he went along with everything is because Xehanort promised to give him no name. Oh. Why? What? Okay. Riku what said of that eye patch. T- I, I remember Terra shot it out. Oh, I and thought that was maybe, maybe. Yeah, but I'm beginning to think maybe like we've got like a master, one of the masters many eyes under there. The master of masters master many eyes. Oh, oh I thought there were multiple. No, eyes. you said potentially there are theories that there are multiple, and my, I'm going with that theory. So I'm thinking one of his eyes is somehow being the slotted is... in there. I don't like that theory. Okay, I, th- I think right. they're decorative. Okay. Anyhow, okay. um. So, Next one. Let's fucking kill him. Not quite. Oh. Um, Riku says that, that that the Keyblade would be wasted on him, to which Zigbar simply replies, as if, and portals away. I love Zigbar. As if. He reappears at the top of the maze, walking oh. backwards slowly towards the edge and falling off. <laughs> as we see him disappear over the edge, his weapons fade to darkness. Why does he fucking teleport out of there just to die elsewhere? He's dramatic, isn't he? Yeah. Just, yeah, dramatic. Uh, yeah, would you, to be fair, would you rather go, like, on the ground in front of your enemy or just, like, fall off above them? Like, <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah. They're just, like, fighting away and just, like, doof! Just, like, body <laughs> lands in the middle of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Dark Riku is defeated. Yeah. He, he struggles himself, saying, because, of course, he's back at this point, saying, I'm the real one. I'm the real one, not Riku. Get over it. As he says this, though. We've been through this. The heart of Repliku leaves Riku as a light ghost, <gasps> saying that dark Riku is him and striking forward his heart, confirming that it's just a replica, a soon-to-be-empty vessel. So Repliku is essentially absorbing replica Riku. This guy fucking loves absorbing people. I'm casting my mind back to Chain of Memories where he's just absorbing know. everyone. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Replica Riku says that he's been waiting for a chance like this and drives Dark Riku out of the replica, leaving an empty vessel behind. Oh, and he's going to jump in, is he? Riku tries to get him to take the vessel, but Replica Riku declines, oh. saying that this world already has Riku. Oh. And that somebody else needs the vessel more. Oh! <laughs> Riku realizes... Does he also wink and go, his name also stars with <laughs> <laughs> Riku's like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking it's about, rough, man. Rough, rough, it's game. actually, you're wrong and it's more emotional. Because Riku realizes that he's saving Nomine just as he tried oh. and failed to in Castle Oblivion. Oh, oh. oh it's fucking cool, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't expect to care so much about fucking Replica Riku bringing Nomine back, but I'm tearing up a little bit. This is a lot. And I think it might be because we do this for 22 hours now. I was sort of pretending to cry, and then I realized there's tears in my face. I'm tearing up a little bit. This is, yeah. Oh, mate. Oh, I'm so oh. glad I'm going to use to cry over the series. Oh, fuck you, <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Keep oh, going. my God. Cool, so we're going to... Now he's going to be given life. Great. Accepting his lot in life, Replica Riku wishes him luck, and together with Dark Riku, 
fades into the light and darkness. Oh. So, Dark Riku, Replica Riku, they're all... They gone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. Next group. <laughs> Axel, and, Axel and Kyrie versus Syax and a still hooded orgy. Kind of to the point where I don't want anyone to die. Like, I feel a bit bad for everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> like, they all suck, but, like, they don't... <laughs> Sorry. Fight. It's clear that Isa has been fully possessed. His yellow eyes glow with a yellow energy. He goes to land a final blow on Axel, and Xemnas appears behind him. Ooh. He mocks Axel, 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 calling him a traitor and asking for his final words for his superior. Ooh. Axel mocks him back, saying that he was never his superior. To which Xemnas says, "How he was ever the useless rogue pawn." Axis replies with uh, this game's iconic self-aware line. You kidding? You know how popular I am? I've got loads of people rooting for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're rooting for him. If he dies, I swear to fuck. <laughs> and you say no more isn't self-aware. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They know. <laughs> I got lots of people rooting for me. And then all the fans just go, at home. <laughs> throw the controllers into the so, fucking TV screen. So unconscious on the four Yay! <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite character too. <laughs> I like him more than me. Oh Where's no, what is your face? Today? Axel goes to strike him, but his keyblade is easily grabbed by Xemnas, who asks him, is this meant to be a keyblade or some sort of joke? His hand glows with darkness as he causes the Keyblade to shatter. He summons his Laser Dome from Kingdom Hearts 2 and blasts Axel down, slowly beating him down before summoning his lightsaber to land the final blow. He goes to strike, but at the last moment, his lightsaber is stopped. He looks over, asking if they're changing sides again. The camera cuts out to show us that the hooded orgy was the one who stopped him. Who the fuck are you? It's Shion. They reply, Shion. we need him alive, you know that. Xemnas replies that they only need his heart, not his soul. But they were friends, weren't they not? You can take Axel's life. They get up as Axel questions who they are, only to have the kingdom key pointed in his face. It's fucking Shion, innit? Oh my god, mate. Fucking <laughs> right. Sora stops them, telling them not to do it, but they strike out at seeing Sora. Sora calls out to them, to Shion, telling her that she can stop now. It's all right. She rides in pain, unsure what to do, and is kicked aside by Xemnas, calling her a useless puppet as her hood flies off. Axel sees her finally remembering and goes to stop Xemnas from ending her life. However, Xemnas... As Xemnas prepares to land the final blow, a light shoots from Sora's chest into the sky, followed by a beam of light coming down to explode on the ground. <laughs> is it happening? Is it finally happening? What is this, Chase? What's about to happen? Through the dust cloud, a long-awaited figure tells Xemnas to keep his hands off his friends. Yes! <laughs> What a day! It's Rock Look at him! It's Roxas, everyone! I'm standing up! Neil's standing up! Chase is crying! I'm tearing up! It's a good day! Look at this! Look at I'm, this picture! I'm more crying trying to hold this back at this point! Oh my god! I was crying at the one wanted this, although... I sobbed making the PowerPoint for this part because I was having to re-listen. It's got... Roxas's theme swelling oh, over this. That's the little one that plays with Sora and Roxas fight and shit. It's a remixed version that is a hundred times more emotional. Has he got the two? These are the two. Yeah. two keyblades, right? Yeah. Uh, Oath Keeper and Oblivion. Oblivion. Oh, and look at it. Oh, like look at this shot. Look at the parallel. Look, Axel's holding this arm. Shion's holding the opposite arm. Rox is in the middle with both keyblades. Like fucking Oathkeeper for Shion's side and Oblivion for Axel's side. Look at this fucking boy. He's so cool, man. I love it. I love all three yeah, of them. Boy. I'll show you the scene. They're the later. best. It's, 
possibly the best scene in the game. It's so good, man. Look at him. He's fucking so angry. He's like, I've been trapped inside this fucking dickhead's heart. I'm ready to kick some ass. My friends are back and I'm going to fucking win even, the day. I, I have not even questioned yet why he's there. Yeah, I don't care, there. man. He's, yeah. he's through the power of friend. He was, his friends were... It was power, Roxas and Lot the Power Awakened because Shion and Axe were in trouble and he was like, I'm going to burst out this fucking dickhead's chest. Woo! I'm here now. I'm here to fucking kill people. I've got my keyblades. <laughs> Fuck you, Xemnas. I'm going to chop your head oh. off. What a good day man good i'm job, sorry this end. is great yeah the end yeah claps 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 the dust so clears happy. as roxas removes his hood two iconic keyblades in hand xemnas says that it's impossible asking where he got a vessel Woo! to which roxas replies that he owes his return to many the last thing he needed to behold was a connection Actual and Xion allowed him to return at last. Yeah, Yay. here for it. Power of friendship. Don't give a fuck. It's great. It's fucking great. Bring him out. Stick him in a replica. Yeah. Xemnas replies that it's no matter. Kidnapping Kyrie and teleporting away. Oh. Oh. Roxas and Xion join Sora in battle oh. as they finish off side. Three Soras. Three Triple Sora. Sora. Except one of them is very clearly rocking a better build. Female Sora. OG Sora. Cool Sora. <laughs> with better weapons. With better weapons. Um, so good. Let's be honest. They're both cooler Sora. They, they are. Well, she is also she very cool. She's much cooler Sora. Yeah, I, I do feel like I maybe undermine Shion a little bit by calling her female Sora. Xion, She's badass. Shion's great. Um, but uh, uh, I love this. Okay. As Syx dies, Axel approaches him, crying out to ask how he could let this happen. He says that he thought this was all for her. To which Sax replies that he tried and sacrificed everything, but Axel just abandoned him and her to make new friends. I also, I left this out of my script, but uh, just for the people uh, on the screen here, I've got the, the line of um, Sax saying, I thought you outgrew the marks under your eyes. If you remember from his KH2 yeah. design, he had like- Tattoo things. Tattoo you said things. they were drawn on, right? They were drawn on because he used to be a, a major emotional like crybaby essentially. And he drew them on to be like, I'm not gonna cry. These are holding back the tears, essentially. Oh. Um. And <laughs> when 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 Syx beats him on the clock tower earlier, I left this out, but he does mention it. Right. Uh. Like, why don't you have them drawn on anymore? He's like, I don't need them. Um. And and here, when he's like, I thought you outgrew the marks under your eye, and he's like, so what of it? And he's like, you look like you need them. Oh, because he's gonna cry because his friends are back and he's happy. And oh, because oh, Syx is dying, he's gonna die. Yeah. Also, like, yeah, sure, Syx is also there. <laughs> no, okay, I, I get it. This is emotional for Axel, and I'm, I'm emotional for him. But yeah, but, like, I get it. Yeah, losing his best friend, he lost his sense of purpose. Axel denies, but Syx admits that he was jealous. He jokes, saying that if he makes it back, Axel won't get it out of him a second time, as he dies in Axel's arms. Get what out of him? Uh, that he was that he was jealous. Of uh, being of those who were be able to be friends with oh. Axel. Sure, man. That's 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 a little bit. And then he, and then he dies in Axel's arms. I, I've, we've gotten hints of this, and and then thankfully, to be fair, you haven't built built into it too much because I do think it might have taken up a little bit of screen time. Um, I get the sense that the games establish this friendship a bit more deeply than you have. Um, um it's to be honest, it's a bit cursory. It's not like nearly as developed as much as right. I I've not shaved much off of it to be 100% honest okay um it, it truly does feel like Axel has abandoned Syx right. it, it really does kind of feel like that throughout the games I guess as a player as well you only really care about Axel, Roxas and Shion you yeah. don't care about this guy Z Zion is that his name? Zyax Zyax sorry yeah well Zion Zion's the place in Matrix where they have the the sweaty orgy, right? Uh, the weird orgy thing scene, yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sora runs off to save Kyrie and the Twilight Town trio finally get a moment to reunite. With Shion crying and Axel joking that he should have brought some ice cream. Mm, yeah, you should have. It's okay though, bro. We're in the desert. It'll melt anyway. You're okay. You're all right. You're all together. Oh, Everything's so it, okay. It's okay. His pocket ice cream can withstand anything. <laughs> yeah. Next I'll off. tear it up again. <laughs> it's so emotional, man. These fucking three are so good. Sorry, continue. Next battle. Sora joins Aqua and Ven versus Terranort and Vanitas. Um, defeating Vanitas, his mask breaks again, revealing his face. Sora's all shook that it looks like him. Yeah, yeah me too. Vanitas explains that a piece of... Ventus was taken away, and Sora was the piece that Ventus needed to behold again. So why shouldn't they look the same? Because it was in the past. To which I've written, all right, cough, lazy writing, cough. <laughs> <laughs> this is because you wanted edgy Sora, cough. Yeah. 
He says that they're brothers who reflect each other. But we're not. They're not, though, are they? And I, I guess, like, brothers is, like, a universal term. I so... hate this character, like, to, to my <laughs> core at this point. Kill him. Please, kill him. Every other character can survive. Kill Vinius. He says that they're brothers who reflect each other. And Sora asks why, then, he doesn't stand on their side instead of with darkness. Vinius replies that he is darkness. No, but, okay, right. Ugh, I, don't, I, know, I, don't, I know, I know, I know, I know. I don't want to derail this. But, again, to very quickly reflect back to the light v. darkness question, Vinius is like, I am darkness. Again, what do we know about Vinius? He is basically evil incarnate. He has negative emotions. He's hate. He's, he's fear. He's embitterment. And he's like, I am literally darkness, but all I am really at my core is evil things. That's all he is. More darkness and choices talk, and he fades away <laughs> into the darkness. I hate this. I hate this character. <laughs> Defeating Terranort. Uh, mm. Moving on. It looks as if, as if a great darkness leaves him. Aqua and Ven <gasps> run up to him, and it appears as if he's beginning to regain control, but he's still struggling. Xenot regains control, binding the three in chains and swimming, swinging them about, saying how they'll never break the chains. He, like, slams into the ground. He's, like, flailing them about. Jesus, all right. Absolutely decimating them, and he just hangs in there. As he goes to finish them, though, they're rescued by the dark figure. Terra! Hello, Terra! It lays down Aqua and Ven as Xehanort screams, asking how, the, asking how, and that they fell to the darkness. The dark figure grabs Terranor, ripping the bindings from its mouth and replying in a raspy voice that one day he said he, that he would set this right. One day right? he'll return to this land and protect his friends. Yeah. Uh, we see Terra's form as Sora unlocks Terranor's heart. Terra's heart leaves the dark figure and shoots itself back into Terranor, recompleting himself. At last. Look at that big dumb boy with his big dumb quip. I love him. I'm so glad. It, I'm glad. You know, I don't give a fuck. I know. I, I have a funny feeling that people might feel this is cheap if they are like diehard fans. That like, everybody's come back from the dead, right? And I don't give a fuck, man. Hearts. I'm like, I'm so yeah. here for this. Yep. This is great. So much of this feels like, like, yeah, the climax of years of build up. This is so good. Do you mean nostalgia syndrome? No. You like your nostalgia? No, the, no, no, no. You like, you like your nostalgia? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Well, well, yeah, we'll derail too much. I don't think this necessarily counts as a nostalgia syndrome. I think this is is satisfying climax. Uh, but yeah. Good. Nothing like a satisfying <laughs> climax. Let's continue. <laughs> Jeez. It's good shit. Everyone's back. Oh, I'm happy. The trio reunites and Sora rushes to meet Riku and Mickey for the penultimate battle. Sora, Mickey, Riku versus Emsum, Zemnis, and young Xehanort. Sora shouts to Xemnas, asking where Kyrie is. Master Xehanort, who's looking from above, reveals that the 13 darknesses and seven lights have clashed nine times, yielding these nine keys. Okay. As he summons nine no-names seemingly made from this clash. What? Wait, hold on, hold on, wait. I thought it was one Che blade. Yeah, the, the, the Che blade, well, the key blade. I think it's just... Are they going to unite to form one very powerful yeah. Keyblade? Uh, okay. that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, yeah. If yeah, they're just no. bits of the Keyblade, yeah, they're, that's okay. They're, 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 they're the shards. Cool. They're just shards. It's interesting they are all no-name, though. That's that's a, maybe potentially yeah. important. I don't honestly know. Potentially, it's just because that's his Keyblade. Potentially, it's a bigger thing. Sora shouts that as if they'd help. As if, you know, he hasn't been helping yeah, for already no, the past two hours. We're not going to do what you want. <laughs> I spent two hours doing exactly what he wants. But Xehanort says that he plans for every eventuality. Sure. Riku says that if he opens Kingdom Hearts, they'll just reclose it. Only getting a, if you survive that long. Ooh. And the battle begins. What battle? Who? Versus the three primary Xehanort clones. Cool, 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 cool. Master Xehanort's still above, just like... Master Xehanort's watching, is. you are versus now Ansem, Xemnas, and young Xehanort. He's watching his moon, he's having a grand old time. And they have, like, a... They're not as hard as their final bosses from the prior games, but they have a lot of their movesets from the prior games, and it's very cool. Master Xehanort takes control of the Keyblades of the Graveyard to kick, so he now controls all these Keyblades in the ground. He summons them up into a massive stream. Right. Uh, taking control over them and he uses that to attack you like the keyblades will fly through the zone as you're fighting off the three other xehanorts right yeah, it's like a whole thing shit okay yeah okay why doesn't it just drop darkness on them but okay you defeat young xehanort 
And he repeats to Sora that there's a high price to pay for all this, saying how this is the end of Sora's journey, that his time in this world is, and he dies. Mm, goodbye, young Xehanort. <laughs> Next. Xemnas falls once more. He waxes on about how he's having his first surge of emotions in a year. Loneliness. He takes this as evidence that having a heart is just pain. Sure, man. Before saying... Wow. How it, uh, it, Sora says that pain... That to be human is to have pain. And, uh... So, but... but Xemnas says... Yeah? Oh, by, by ki just killing all these nobodies, are we not just reforming them somewhere else? Yeah. <laughs> like, are we not just putting them yeah. all back together as, you know... Who knows? But I, I, presumably, time travel's fucking with all that. I don't know. But so, so, so Sora says that to be human is to have pain. And Zem Xemnas says that it must then take incredible strength to have a heart and dies. <laughs> Lastly, Ansem is defeated. Hey. And he faces Riku, who says that it's strange, but he'll miss Ansem. What a journey they've had. <laughs> Ansem just can't leave Riku alone. He just can't let this go. <laughs> Ansem set, tells him that he's more than darkness and how Ansem had never had a chance before telling Riku that there's more to seek and dying. There's more to seek uh, of darkness. That was me. Goodbye. Three more keys created fly up to Xehanort. So he's got 12 now. Yeah. And only one more is needed. Oh, because he's 13. He summons his own keyblade, firing a burst of darkness into the sky and once more summoning Kingdom Hearts above him. Is it, is it blue? Is it blue? Is it blue? Is This is the Kingdom Hearts. We're not fucking around. Yes. This is the Birth by Sleep Kingdom Hearts. It's like white in this game, but yes, it is the Birth sure, by Sleep man. Kingdom Sure, man. It's a different color. It's fine. But yeah, it's, it's the Kingdom it Hearts. Cool. It is the Kingdom cool. Hearts. I took it just a different name. Great. No um, it is the Kingdom Hearts. So was the one in Birth by Sleep. Great. The real one. Is he cackling? No, he's quite calm. <laughs> he's not very cackling in this game. Oh, that's uh, disappointing. He's quite calm. I liked him when he was a bit more sort of campy. Yeah. No, I mean, he's still very campy, but... Okay, right. Um... He's more like, I've already won. I don't need to cackle because I've already won. Um, sure. He readies for Darkness and Light's final clash. He summons Kyrie, saying that Sora needs some motivation and kills her before his eyes. <sighs> what the fuck? What? I don't remember this. What? Shit. He just kills Kyrie. <laughs> oh my god. What does he do? Does he like bonk her on the head with his keyblade, basically? Well, well, well that's back. it then. He's got the 13th key because that was technically a clash between not only a warrior of heart, but a princess of there heart is. and him. So that was his final, he's got the final piece. Yeah, he's won. He's yeah. Shit. He, he kills won. her before his eyes, creating the final key. <gasps> Sora strikes. Why does he want to motivate Sora? He's got his fucking. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 just, just Sora it. strikes out, followed by Riku, but both are thrown back by Xehanort's might. Mickey, however, jumps forward, but is stopped by Xehanort, casting time. Oh, excuse me. Um, and stops Xehanort by casting time magic and freezing all but himself and Sora. Wait, does that work on old Xehanort? Wait. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Xehanort casts the time magic and freezes everybody but himself and Sora. Cool. Xehanort raises um, his keyblade to the sky um, and his no name merges with the rest of the keys, forming the keyblade finally completed cool yeah it's the, it's the, it looks like two kingdom keys combined but with a big fuck off sword it's really cool looking the true keyblade cool wow. this one ain't defective this, this one is ain't the defective. one this is the real fucking deal cool he finally did it he calls upon the true form of kingdom hearts What's filling it with form? darkness that is cast down upon the world so the true form of kingdom hearts being it, it be, if you control Kingdom Hearts, you can remake the world as you want. Right. So he is recreating yeah, the world in darkness. He wants to be a god. Like, this is yeah, Essentially, this is he's it. recreating the world in darkness. So he's turning Kingdom Hearts to darkness to send down darkness upon I'm, the world. To, 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 to Just a triple check here. What is Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm pretty okay with what is Kingdom Hearts now. You can remake worlds with Kingdom Hearts, and that's yeah. fine. Um, the uh, Yeah, we're there now. But Xehanort's plan is to cast every world into darkness because he, i thought he wanted balance so was it 50 50 well, so like the thanos snap remem endgame remember that in his beliefs 
darkness begets creation. Everything comes from darkness. So he's going to destroy everything and recreate the world into a world of balance as opposed to the current one that is bathed too strongly in light, in his opinion. Right. But why? Why does he not like light? Why does he... The, am I asking questions that you'll get answered later? It's not that he doesn't like light. He's fine with light. Right. He just thinks that light should be in balance with darkness, and that is the duty of a Keyblade wielder to maintain the balance, but that the Keyblade wielders of this era are begetting darkness, and they're saying, no, it should be only light. And he's like, no, that's not right. It shouldn't be only light. Or <laughs> only light. It should be a balance of light and darkness. Right. So he's recreating the world to recreate that balance. I don't want to rehash all territory here, and I, I won't for, for a lengthy period of time, I promise. But, but but my question is, what's so bad about the balance being skewed to light? Like, for example, everything's being skewed in light, and things are going all right. You know, you got a few Disney villains running around, but that's fine. Like, they always get beat at the end. The VHS tape gets reset. Like, we, refugees aren't created from the existence of, of, of the light. It's when Heartless invade worlds. I don't know, man. Okay. This boy, you've... That's not too many times. We can't, we can't go there. We're retreading old ground. I just felt like you had an answer we're waiting in the wings. We're but... retreading old ground. Okay, so you just never had an darkness answer to begin with. is fine. Darkness has never been you fine. Just you just want, been you just dying, dying on this hill. To be fine. <laughs> Fuck darkness. And we're moving on. The others finally arrive, seeing the opened Kingdom Hearts and the darkness raining down upon them. Oh, no. Questioning what comes now. Mickey and Riku, freed from their time freeze, join the others, saying that there is one last hope. Riku explains that during the Mark of Mastery exam, they learned that he can transcend, that Master Zaynort, rather, can transcend space and time. He's a portal, one that they can use to trap that him. His heart. Sora steps forward, Power to waking, to face the final confrontation against Xehanort, while the others will fend off and close Kingdom Hearts. The Keyblade wielders together raise their Keyblades, Sora unlocking both his and Xehanort's heart, and the rest attempting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. At, this yeah, this is a pivotal moment, listeners who don't who don't have not got this image. It's it's our it's our one two three four five six seven eight nine Keyblade wielders holding their keys up majestically. The ends are lighting up with the light of a star, and then you've got Donald and Goofy also there. Goofy's just flexing like Hercules, looking really grumpy. And Donald's like, just like, just go do like a like a like a no way sort of arm movement. The end. I'm of sure no it's way. helping. I'm sure it's helping. <laughs> Chase, not going please through this continue. Area. Sora unlocks both his and Xehanort's heart. Xehanort shoots back. He's like, what? As like a big portal opens in his chest. Right. Ooh. Um, and the rest shoot lights into Kingdom Hearts, attempting to fight back the darkness. Sora, Sora's heart releases, flying into the portal. Um, actually, uh, alongside Donald and Goofy, he kind of drags them along somehow. I don't really know how. Don't ask. Sure, um, we need Donald to heal us in the final battle. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, as we and and we see him fly forward towards Kingdom Hearts and Xehanort. As we also see like a bunch of little dots of light starting to form in the darkness of Kingdom Hearts. Okay. Awesome. Is that the power of waking that he's just used? Yes. Great. Because it's a teleport between hearts. And he's so managed he's using... to use it. So Riku could have done that, though. He could have also joined the fight. Presumably, but he's staying back here because you've got a massive fucking fuck-off Dark Kingdom Hearts. Probably better if we sent Riku, to be honest. But I get it. We're, we're playing as Sora. We need to, we need to experience the, the final fight. On the other side of the portal. <laughs> Sora finds himself in a world that he doesn't know, but that we should. Scala oh. and Kylum. Wait. Okay. Wait. Okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So, yes, f f lovely, great. I thought that you could only... So you could. So, so Sora has used the power of waking, the sense that we had described to us by Young Xehanort, which was he has used Young Xehanort's heart to travel to Scala Ad Kylum because we saw at the start of the game that Xehanort... Sorry, no, 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 no. Old Master Xehanort's heart. He, he's done that. He's portaled through that heart, dragged Master Xehanort's heart with him back to a location which is important to Master Xehanort, Scala Eye Kalim, which we know because we've seen them play chess in it and shit, Correct. right? Great. Wonderful. I thought in order for that to happen, Sora also needs to have a connection to either the person or the location. Sora has no connection to Scala Akylum and no real connection that's, with That's Zeno. just to wake up a sleeping heart. Right. So he can do it to any... He could trans travel to yeah, anyone's you can, important you can use place. Yeah, to, to travel. Right. 
And the idea is that everybody well, always it's, has it's, it's like how it's, it's like how, you know, he doesn't have any connection to the Sleeping Worlds, but he could use it on the Sleeping Worlds hearts. Cool. But, but the, so the idea is that almost every, just and this will help me understand the power of Waking Wee, but every character has that, in, that, that sca- has a Scala ad Kylum. So Soros presumably is Destiny Islands, you know. Everyone's got that place that you go. So Riku could probably go, woo, I'm going to use you and shoot back to Destiny Island. Sora, is that the idea? Probably. I mean, that, that feels pretty fine to me. From, I just want to check. From how I understand it, yes. Cool. But where we are right now, Scala Ag Kylum, where we are right now, yes. is this a real life location like Destiny Islands is or, or Agrabah is? Or are we inside Xehanort's heart right now? If are we in I, a sleeping world? If I'm honest with you, it's up for debate. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, that's fine. I would like to think that we are inside Xehanort's heart currently. Cool. That's fine. Um, but frankly, whether Scala Ad Kylum still exists at this point in the timeline is heavily up for debate, and we're not going to know until the finale of Dark Road comes out. That's which okay. is why I'm waiting for that before we do anything well, further I, I, in I'm phase two. I'm willing to follow your, your current theory. That's totally cool. Yeah. I was thinking, we saw cable cars at the start, so people live in this city. And presumably, we're, I think we're coming in for the final fight here, we're not going to see people in cable cars milling about the city while we're battling Xehanort. No, 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 no. So, it's, it's, it's very much empty. You're the it's only one dead there. city. Okay. So I, I would assume that we are inside Xehanort's heart currently. Cool, cool. Okay, no problem. Yeah, I'll follow that. Yeah. Um, they run around town finding glitchy versions of Master Xehanort that have formed dark beings like goat, satanic goat heads awesome. um there's 13 of them they fly around and you have to fight all 13 of them at once cool. it's yeah. terrible <laughs> um okay. it's the it's the 13 pieces of darkness uh right. as we fight um the sky darkens and a magic circle appears in the air over the tower that's Lasers. that that's that satanic you were joking about that that is quite a horrific image Awesome. Lasers rain down upon Hail Sora Satan. as the battle continues. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. To be honest, I have no clue what this is. Cool. It, it kind of just happens, and I don't understand it. I can. Im- I'm happy just to imagine that Xehanort's one of Xehanort's spells he's got um, up his sleeve. Yeah, I'm sure that magic might get expounded upon in future games, but I have no clue what this is. Um, God, we're gonna do a part where I'm, I'm gonna need the comments to come fill me in if I'm getting these things wrong. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, I'm comments, not looking forward. Comments, Phil Chase in. Oh, I'm not looking forward to seeing all the ones about how wrong I got the power of awakening. <laughs> um, but the battle decided. Sora finally finds the true Xehanort who muses that of all places to be sent. He tells Sora that at one point, Scala was the seat of power for the Keyblade wielders, and that it is the nexus. From which all other worlds spring. So Scala Ad Kylum existed back in Back Cover. Then it was part of the world of Back Cover. No, when they rolled. No, because Back Cover's a million years ago, isn't it? Yeah. So Scala Ad Kylum that doesn't no. predate Back Cover. That that does predate. That doesn't no. predate Back Cover. It does not. Okay. Was it on the map? You know, we talk about Back Cover as like Agrabah and the Hunchback of Notre Dame land and Neverland. Was it on the map with them? Is this a question you can't answer yet? Which is fair enough. Xehanort rises, okay. drawing his other selves <laughs> into himself and summoning his keyblade armor and no name. He wiggles his little darkness hands, causing the world to just distort... One hand. Yeah, just one hand. Oh, excuse wiggle. me, you're right. Uh, causing the world to distort about them as if he's Doctor fucking Strange putting you in the mirror realm. Love it. Um, up is down, left is right, walls are floors, all that good stuff. Mm. The fight continues and the worlds distort further. At one point, specifically, bringing them under the water under the main island where we can see a vaguely familiar looking building upside down. Ooh. Wait, that's... That's the castle. The bloody Chains Castle. Chains Castle from uh, Birth by Sleep. The one that was... No. No? Wait, wait, wait. Where, where is this? Are we meant to know this? Yes. It's the castle from earlier in this game that I can't remember the name of, innit? No. No? no. Can no. you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> we don't recognize this. I will at the end of the game. Okay. God damn it. Um, you're welcome to recognize it right now. But I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the yeah, game. Is it yeah. Hollow Bastion? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, sorry, continue, continue. The fight continues. Returning, let me just put a note to, <laughs> to show you. Because it could be any ca- castle. Oblivion, Hollow Bastion, the fucking castle from Birth by Sleep. Yeah, listeners, it's a very it's a very sort of grainy underwater upside down image. Yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a big gap in the middle of it. That's kind of the only defi- dis- defining factor, yeah, but sorry. sure. The fight continues, please. returning to the main square of the island, where we can see the town is now in ruins. The fight is long, but ultimately Sora emerges victorious, although Xehanort's defeat um, echoes with the words, you think you've won? 
Xehanort staggers, no name clattering to the ground as he grips his heart and lowers his hands to reveal cracks in his armors, which burst with light exploding. Xehanort looks at Sora with a sly grin, chuckling before portaling away to the top of the central clock tower. Sora arrives and approaches Xehanort, keyblade in hand. Xehanort comments on how Sora thought that he could contain him here, knowing all that he does about connections. Xehanort puts his hand out and in a great burst of light summons the keyblade. He raises it to the sky, one sky, one destiny, and Kingdom Hearts appears above them. How can... Oh, I'm not going to ask. I'm going to ask, but you don't have to... We're just going to move on. How, how, do, how can Kingdom Hearts appear inside Xehanort's heart? That's my question. It's fine, move on. I don't think you have an answer there's, for there's me. There's one sky, one destiny. No, we're inside Xehanort's heart. There's one sky, one destiny. One sky destiny. can't be inside a heart. One a kingdom sky. A wielder can summon it anywhere. One sky. Even inside their own heart? Yeah. Apparently so. Inside one, their own soul. One sky, one destiny. You're one sky, one destiny. Sora, Donald, and Goofy ready for the final conflict against the might of the true Grand Master Keyblade Wielder. As the battle continues, Xehanort calls upon the power of Kingdom Hearts. It's yellow now. Flying into the <laughs> yellow, white... It's the same color as it was in 1 and 2 purple, when it was it? the fake Kingdom Hearts. This is the real one! <laughs> you keep saying that. Uh, it's the real one. It's not blue color anymore. Color does not matter. Color is not relevant. Wait, all I'm saying is that oh, the real Jesus. one is a different color from the fake one. It's not. Okay. It, color is not relevant. That's the so only cool. thing that matters is... One and two are fake. As the battle continues, Xehanort calls upon the power of Kingdom Hearts, flying into the magic circle into the sky. Sora persists in battle, but Xehanort raises the Keyblade to Kingdom Hearts, filling it with the same darkness um, as in reality, and blasts Sora with a concentrated beam of pure darkness, striking him down. Is he trying to nort him or trying to kill him? He kills him. Kills him. We receive the black screen of Game Over. With Sora floating along with the Game Over sound effects. But awesome. the Game Over UI doesn't appear. We don't get the quit button. We don't get the continue button. We just see Sora float there. Holy shit. Sora's heart pulses, his image pulsing, getting faster and faster. We hear Donald and Goofy's voices calling out Sora's name. And in a flash of light, he returns to himself, seeing, him, seeing Donald and Goofy before him holding back the Beam of Darkness. Oh. They drive him back, summoning a concentrated beam oh. of pure light straight at Xehanort. Awesome. Love it. Look at that. Yeah. Love it. The darkness fades from Kingdom Hearts, and Xehanort falls to the ground, defeated. The Keyblade falling from his hand. God, the Keyblade... Not all that all powerful. Yeah, it turns out that friendship is magic is more powerful than the Keyblade. I mean, it's 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 not that it's an all powerful like I'm gonna be able to kill everything. It just gives like it's it's powerful to control Kingdom Hearts. Right. Sora tells him that it's over, but Xehanort says that it's too late. Looking up at Kingdom Hearts, which we can now see surrounded in a fiery aura, Sora asks him what will happen. To which Xehanort replies, "A purge. The world will be returned whence it started. The world began in darkness, and from that darkness came light." From the light came the people, and the people had hearts. Evil burgeoned in those hearts, begetting more darkness. And that darkness spread across the world like a plague. The light, the symbol of the world's hope, was devoured by shadow, leaving nothing but ruin, an utter failure. But the first light, the light of Kingdom Hearts, it can give us a new start. An empty world, pure and bright. Sora chastises him, though, saying how none of this was his choice to make, but Xehanort believes... There was no one else strong enough to make that choice. Classic baddie. Cool. Sora tells him that a real leader accepts destiny, knowing that it can't be changed. Reminding Xehanort of an old friend. Mm. Which is weird because that's literally the opposite of what the old friend would think. But... The old so, friend is Ericus, right? Uh, uh, Supposedly, uh, yeah, yeah. assumedly rather. Uh, suddenly, from the light of Kingdom Hearts, a portal shatters open and the Guardians of Light arrive. Sure. They tell Sora that they managed to close Kingdom Hearts from the other side. Terra approaches Xehanort, looking at him as he says, As I told you, there's more to light than meets the eye. Xehanort's taking aback, saying, You sly fox. Terra says that. As Terra glows, a heart leaving him and forming between them Terra. the lost heart of Master Ericus. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're not impressed. <laughs> I don't. I don't like Ericus. Like it's not. The, it's not like Terra Roxas or Shion where I'm like he's back. He's like yeah, sure, man. Ericus is back. Okay. Like th- this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he so hit himself inside Terra's heart. No problem. Essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As we do. Uh, as as you do. Keep Keyblade Masters in it. Just go in a boy's heart. Master Ericus demands that Xehanort hand over the Keyblade. Xehanort tells Ericus that it's too late, but Xehanort simply replies, or excuse me, Ericus simply replies, for us perhaps, but not for them. Xehanort points the X-Blade at Ericus, insisting that he can do this. Ericus, however, simply walks over to him, placing his hand on the X-Blade and Xehanort's shoulder, telling him that's enough. Checkmate. We return to their childhood game, where Xehanort finally admits defeat, much to the surprise of Ericus, who says that he never admits when he loses, only to get back like a teasing, that's because I never lose. Well... Xehanort chuckles, saying that he won't go as far as Ericus, and that when the world has need of a defender, it's Ericus they'll choose. The pair agrees that they're always going to be there for each other as we return to them in the present day. Master Xehanort approaches Sora, bequeathing upon him the Keyblade. Oh. Ericus looks at his former pupils, begging their forgiveness for all he's done, and asking Terra to watch over the others. Xehanort, his energy finally spent falters, being caught by Ericus who asks him if he's ready. Xehanort, with a smile, says yes. And for a moment, their forms shift to their to those of them as students before they both return to the light of Kingdom Hearts. Sora calls on the power of his friends and with them, uses the X-Blade to close Kingdom Hearts, returning them home. Cute, we did it. Oh. Save the day. Xehanort's dead. Ericus is dead. Finale time, baby! <laughs> It's not the finale. Is, you mean epilogue or finale? I mean the finale. Are we still playing or is this all cutscenes? This is all cutscenes from here on out. Okay, okay cool. Here on out, this is all cutscenes. Okay. I just like to say, I quite like that. It's good. It's very good. Mm. Yeah, good shit. That fight's fucking cool. Ultimately. I was over it. I came over to Monty's yeah. to watch him finish this game and watch him go through this fight. and It was epic. It's great. It is. It's, it's pretty epic. It's um, I really love that when all is said and done, Xehanort is defeated through the power of friendship. I, and I love when the game just really fucking leans into the friendship the shit. Like, love it. Yeah. yeah. No time for the it's nobodies fine. and the heartless yeah. and the shit. Like, yeah, friendships are your friends and yeah. friends are strong. Great. Love it. Really good stuff. So, finale. finale. Back at the graveyard, Kingdom Hearts gone from the sky. Mickey says that it's finally over, but Sora with a broken look simply replies, no. Riku attempts to comfort him, saying that they'll find Kairi, I don't know where the fuck you're going to find her. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, shit. I forgot about that. I forgot. <laughs> and that, you know, they just need to return to Master Yen Sid and they'll find something else. Sora declines, though, saying that he knows what he needs to do. His journey began the day that he lost Kairi. And every time he finally finds her, she slips through his fingers. And he's not going to let her be alone anymore. The others offer to help, but Sora says that it's something that he needs to do alone. Mickey, realizing what Sora plans to do, tries to stop him, saying that the power of waking isn't to chase hearts around, and even if he does find Kairi, he might be lost forever, a warning echoing that of young Xehanort. Determined, though, Sora says that he'll be back. Riku tells the king to believe in Sora, and Sora opens his final portal. The music swells as we get scenes of everyone returning home. Mickey returns to Disney Castle and many alongside Donald, Goofy, and Yen Sid. The Wayfinder trio who finally hold a funeral for Master Ericus at the land of departure, leaving their wayfinders to show that they'll always be connected. As the trio walk away from Ericus's Keyblade, the cheer thief from the final world looks around a corner watching them, then notices it welcoming him into the arms and together joins it with his friends. On the Twilight Town clock tower, Roxas sits with Lee... (laughs) And is first joined by Shion. Mm. Isa arrives, handing the lot ice cream, followed by the Twilight Town Shion. kids. Everyone. Oh, look, look, look. All of them watch the sky as they see a gummy ship fly overhead. Oh, the whole gang. Like, whole gang. oh, like even Axel and what's fucking fixing? Shion. Not Shion. She, Shion's the lady. Isa. Yeah, Isa. Isa, Axel, Roxas, Shion, uh, Alette. And the other two guys, I forget the names. But yeah, everyone's eating. Pence and Gillette. The gummy. <laughs> Gillette. The best of my can get. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the ship lands in Radiant Gardens, where we see Ansem and his apprentices uh, as they've now completed their work and welcome Nomine back into this world. 
Riku arrives from the ship, holding his hand out to Nomine, and they take off Yo. into the sky. A ship, that ship. Good for them. On Destiny Islands, we see everyone playing together. Sure, no problem. <laughs> everyone finally together. I love uh, Nomine and Shion looking at the seashells. Mm. Oh. oh, heartbreaking. I also love the sand, Donald. I'm good for you looking at it with disdain. Three guesses for who made that. <laughs> uh, they're playing Frisbee with, uh, what's his name, Chakram. <laughs> and all the edgy boys plus Mickey are just watching, not not not, not <laughs> well, staying in the party. They are all looking at Kyrie, sat on the Paupu tree. Wait. Besides Sora. She's <gasps> dead. They hold hands, Kyrie looking at him as she sheds a tear, and Sora fades from this world. The credits rolling. <gasps> I would like to bring up my note from the very start of this recording in which I wrote down Neil's prediction that Sora will either die or be banished. Yeah. Wow. So what, he traded his life for Kyrie's? He went back to the Chirithi and he was like, bring her back. Well, I mean, the, the Chirithi is not the arbiter. He, he essentially did the same thing he did before and he brought her back but because he kept using this power he was right. going deeper and deeper into sleep and he just he, it was taboo. He's been banished from this world. He doesn't exist in this world anymore. Holy shit. Oh, He's gone. Fuck. Okay. Sora's gone. Oh. Oh. Sora's deed. That's pretty heavy. Oh, I, I have similar... Fi- I, yeah, I'm reminded. I, I like this game quite a lot. I like the ending of this game quite so a lot. I. Like, I think this game is... I think this game has its faults, but I do think it is a very strong entry. I distinctly remember what I said to you after you came over and you watched me roll the credits on this. And and I remember turning to you and going, I'm glad I played them. I <laughs> yep. never want to play another one again. Yep. Can I... I'm very happy with how this has concluded. Roll credits. Roll credits. Roll credits. Roll credits. Wait, no, no post credit scene? No, no answer. You said there were answer. Wait, no, no, no. He said there were answer. You said there were answer reports, you no. motherfucker. <laughs> what are we doing? What's happening? So... I don't know if I've ever said this on microphone. I've definitely said this to you guys off camera that, to me, Kingdom Hearts 3 doesn't feel like a finale. Kingdom Hearts 3... The main character dies. To me, feels like a transition point. A turning point in the series. It had too much Phase 2 in it to feel like a proper finale when I've got a laundry list of 11 different bullet points of things that haven't been explained and won't be explained until phase two for our post-discussion points. Sure, sure. That, yeah, y- y- yeah, so, I guess, yeah. in the post credit scene, we okay. see no name fall from the sky and land itself in the center of the crossroads of the Keyblade graveyard. Of the Keyblade graveyard. One final Keyblade for hopefully the final war. The camera raises to its hilt as a hand takes it, saying, finally, Back where it belongs. Oh shit, it's the master. We see from the clearly hooded figure's view as he looks first at the Keyblade before in front of him where a portal is forming. It zooms out to reveal a robed figure in the center of the crossroad holding no name and with a faded black box. As the four portals on each side of the road arrive, the ancient Keyblade masters, the foretellers. Oh fuck! Here we go. Wait, so Lushu, Lushu's here and the four tellers then. So, so they're they're coming through portals. That's what's happening. Yeah. Well, well it's it's more okay. like they're like phasing into existence as they walk forward. But yes, essentially yeah. phasing into existence because uh, the fucking Larxene and Co have all been killed. This is our theory. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. 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 Who who are the ones that we think Larxene? Well, it's, it Demix, would be Larxene, Dem- Marluxia. Those are the three. And Luxord, the gambling Luxord, man. Does. Cool. Cool. Ira, uh, Ira immediately recognizes. Him as the final apprentice, Lushu, asking if he was the one who summoned them back. He tells Lushu that he looks different. And he pulls his hood back, saying that he hasn't heard that name in a long time. <gasps> okay, listeners, who are we looking at, Monty? Uh, we're looking at Zigbar slash Brag, Mr. Eyepatch Man. A.K.A. Lushu, the first apprentice of the Master of Masters. So, so is the idea then that Lushu, way back in back cover, looked like maybe not the eye patch and the scar, right? But looked like Zigbar, looked like Break. He did not. I'll get to that one second. Okay. Is um, he still got Nort in him? He does still have Nort in him, and he is still a nobody. Oh fuck. Um, there is a, there is still a little piece of Zayn floating about. It's really uh, annoying. But I would yeah. like to point out, 
when he died, he was the only one where I very explicitly didn't say that he faded. Yeah. I just said he fell off he fell backwards. Off. Yeah. He is the only one who we do not see die on screen, quote unquote. Interesting. Um, which also, I'm sorry, he's just so sus through the entire series. He knows too much. He has too much power. He has no reasonable explanation or backstory. <laughs> he keeps inserting himself into situations where yeah. he has no place to like, be there. Yeah, in I retrospect, I think it makes a lot of sense. Granted, a lot of those retrospect quote unquote were re or were retconned added scenes to the HD patches, but Maleficent was like the fucking box doesn't exist yet, etc. But Lushu has the had the box. Lushu's still been going about as Zigbar and Briggs, so the box exists. Assume I mean assume that he's been like hiding it or something. Right, okay, it's just that she can't detect it. It's not that yeah, it she, stopped she, existing. She, she, she can't detect it. Okay. It's here now after the Keyblade okay, War, just right. like he said. Yeah. Cool. So, Zigbar says that he cast his original form aside and has been passing his heart alongside the Keyblade in the box down through the ages, just like Xehanort passed his heart. So, this is just his current body. He's been passing his heart down and down and down and down along with the Keyblade. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we, we know it's been established, very well established, that so you can just chuck your heart into other people if you're strong enough. Um, so, okay. he's just been doing that. So, 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 Chase, okay, Chase, so, so, do you know if Brag back in Birth by Sleep, was he Lushu, yes. or was he just Brag and then Lushu? Lushu? Okay, okay, okay. He, okay. That, cool. that, that was Lushu. Cool. Um, and that finally here, at the completion of his role, the Master gave him so many years ago. Um, I would like to, to, to take a quick detour from this, sure. to go back to a question that you asked me at the very beginning mm -hmm. of this. Who is the traitor? Yes, yes. Vaguely spoiler, it, it's Lushu. Lushu's role was not to pass his body down and him. To, he, Lushu should be dead. Right. Lushu should be dead as according to the master of master's plan. Yeah. What? But what he's been doing instead is he's like, no, I need to be the one who sees what happens. I need to be the one to carry out the master's plan. I can't trust anybody else. I'm going to keep passing my heart alongside the Keyblade, and I will. I will be its carrier forever. I'm not going to pass it to an apprentice. I will be its carrier. Okay. So he went I against the master. He's the traitor. Is he a, Is he the baddie of phase two? I know you don't know because phase two hasn't really started. It's just been yeah. rumblings. Yeah. But like, are we meant to like Lushu? We can be entertained Arguably, by Lushu, but the so it's 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 a lot more gray in phase two so far. Right. Okay. There isn't an explicit baddie. But it could be argued that the quote-unquote bad D is the master of masters and the foretellers. Mm. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Now, granted, that is not explicitly confirmed. Well, we this is a very ominous scene, yeah. to be fair. We yeah. do not explicitly know that, but it is the current rumblings and theories. Yeah. There are... Uh, uh, <laughs> does gender matter when it comes to hearts, right? But we, there are two female foretellers, right? Yes, Ava and... Um, but there's only one... Lark Larkseen was the only female member of Organization 13. So yeah, is, is it just it doesn't matter? They just throw their hearts into other bodies or whatever? No, well, you... Shion was a nobody of Sora sort of whatever. No, you guys were just wrong about that theory. What? Which was really amusing for me the Wait, whole time, on, trying to keep on, silent. Larkseen, Marluxia, they're not, not no. connected to the Foretellers oh, at all. Damn it. So God, we don't know what they are. You were wrong. You know what they are, do you? You just can't tell us yet. I know what two of them are. Fuck you. Okay, okay. so they're not the reincarnation um, of the four towers. Two of them have not currently been revealed. I know what two of them are. Son of a bitch. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Um, they are not the four towers. Next. The camera zooms out. Uh, we see Pete and Maleficent. They finally found their box. Oh, God. Yay, God. they found their box. <laughs> what does Lucian do? Just punch Maleficent in the face. No, they, they, they walk away. Uh, uh, it's just kind of be like, oh, they found it. Lushu looks around, noting that Ava hasn't arrived among them and saying how she didn't make it after all. Now, whether he means it to this gathering or in general. Is... Ava didn't make it. Ava, yes. Right. Ava's, Ava's snake. snake lady, right? No, she's the fox, the one oh, who had the dandelions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. She was the head of the dandelions. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, All those years ago, Lushu told her clear as day what he had to do. Gula asks if that's why Lushu excluded her, but he's like, I didn't exclude her. She had her own mission, and she carried it out. Ossed says that he's heard enough, demanding to know what Lushu's role was. Lushu chuckles, looking over the black box. I hope you like long stories. For fuck's sake. Okay, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Sure, I guess we're, we're not finding what... You told us you don't know yet, so we're not finding out what's in the box. 
we do not know as of this point, and I don't think we will get to know until Kingdom Hearts 4. Probably not until Kingdom Hearts 6 at this rate. That feels like a final game reveal. Possibly. I don't know. Um, there are theories. I can't really go into them without doing Union Cross. Yeah, we, we can do that after Union Cross. That's interesting. Probably. Yeah. Um, the scene shifts back to Xehanort and Ericus at their chessboard in the past. Can meanwhile, <laughs> back, back in the day... Xehanort yeah. looks down at the fallen pieces, except the one King of Light, before Ericus scoops him up and rearranges the pieces, saying how he's heard of a new game. <laughs> he places seven dark Checkers. pieces on the board, <laughs> causing Xehanort to question. Seven black pieces end. Ericus smiles, picking up a single white piece. Just watch. <laughs> Down on the board, and the screen goes black. Awesome. That's very cool. This is a new game. So heard of Kingdom Hearts 4? <laughs> so assumedly... The Master of Masters, Lushu, and the Five Foretellers is the theory. Oh. I wonder who the one is then. Is it Sora? But it feels like Sora's story is over. Well, Sora's dead, so his yeah, story's so... over. There's a few ways we can go now. Do you want Do you want the super secret reports, or do you want uh, the conversation topics? Oh, super secret reports. Give us all the information we can possibly get, then we'll discuss. Okay. How many do you have? 13. Okay, so we've rolled the credits on Kingdom Hearts 3. We're done. post credit scene complete. post credit scene complete. Secret Report 1. post credit scene complete, Chase. Secret Report 1. <laughs> Recollections written by Unknown. Fucking oh, Unknown. Okay, right. okay. The Voice okay, Awakens. Okay. Give it to me. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> the Voice Awakens saying that they don't mind. know who... It's the Secret Report. Sample. You're, the, you're a Secret Report. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the voice awakens, saying that they don't know what they are. They're in a cell in a researcher's lab, remembering nothing more than four friends and a key. In that lab, they're called X, and spend their t free time with two boys. One day... Don't know, boys. don't know about any boys. Sorry. Anyway. You should know about these boys. Are these Riku and Sora? Nope. So many two boys. One day, they were taken and freed by a man with an eye patch. May their heart be their guiding key. Number two. You should be able to piece together with that first report. Was, I'm going to need you to spell out for me. I'm a little too drunk for it, I'm afraid. Who do we know was locked up in a researcher's lab that didn't have memories and who two boys kept coming? Ventus. No. Roxas. No. So many, <laughs> so many boys it's, lose their memories. It's the mystery girl. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, uh, Axel and Isa. Yeah, Remember, they yeah, said that they yeah, found yeah, her yeah, in yeah, the yeah, researcher's yeah, lab, Anselm the Wise's yeah. lab, yeah. who had been experimenting on her. Okay, so Anselm the Wise has been experimenting on a mystery girl, the mystery girl. We know this from yeah. the scene from earlier, so but yeah. Mystery this girl. Is... The mystery girl cool. in the lab, at least, is called X. She was taken and freed by a man with an eye patch, assumedly Zigbar. Mm -hmm. And they finish off the report with May Their Heart Be Their Guiding Key. So whoever is knows what was, is a master of some sort, presumably. Okay. Report two. The Mark of Mastery Journal written by Xehanort. Xehanort sets off to tour the worlds written of in the old fairy tales to prepare for his Mark of Mastery exam. He talks about his journey from the island and how he grew up to desire mastery over darkness. He tells us that Ericus is near royalty descended from the very first masters in the age of fairy tales. But Xehanort swears that he will be equal to, to Ericus. So Ericus is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Report 3. Experiments of the Heart. Notes on Subject X. Excerpt 1, written by Xehanort. Fucking Subject X. Give her a name. Get there in a second. Xehanort writes of the mysterious girl X. She's approximately 15 years old, the day they found her in the central square with no memories. The little she is able to say suggests that she left her world with friends, but all further attempts to probe her memories have ended in failure. He notes how she's similar to him when he arrived, but says that she's perfect to continue the experiments of the heart that Ansem abandoned. By traversing the heart, he hopes to gain her memories as he slowly began to do with himself. Four, excerpts of the heart notes on subject X, excerpt two, written by Xehanort. Xehanort continues, saying how little he can get from her conversations, but they evoke thoughts of a bygone world out of fairy tales. It is incredible. Uh, it is incredibly possible she arrived here not from another world, but another time. So okay, so so the world of fairy tales back cover. So so, so this is someone from back cover. Oh, is this fucking uh, girl that didn't appear at the end with all the other foretellers? What's the name? Ava, 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 right? 
The one that didn't appear. That's our theory. That's our working. That's my working theory. Your working theory. That's I our think working it theory. Makes a lot of sense to me. I'll leave it so till the end of the report. Somehow she time traveled and appeared with Zeno. Oh, sorry, continue. I'll leave it at the end of the report. Maybe there'll be more. Okay. Um. However, Ansem discovered uh, Xehanort's experiments, demanding they stop and the subjects be freed, losing him the girl. So, uh, uh, assumedly, Ansem told Zigbar, get her out of there. So she's out in the wild somewhere. Maybe. Uh, he believes that Ansem has hidden her, uh, specifically her, away um, and decides to continue his experiments on himself. Memoirs, excerpt one by Syax. Syax talks of his time as Isa and his and Lee's sneaking into Ansem's castle. Finally able to get past the guards at the gate, they found the lab beneath um, to be a place of terrifying darkness. But in that blackness, a speck of light and a voice calling out. The girl. So pretty much all these reports are just on this girl. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, keep going. Uh, Memoirs, excerpt two by Syax. Isa continues to talk about um, him speaking of the girl with Lee until one day she's gone without a trace. Determined to find out what happened to her, they return to the gate of the castle the next day, not to break in, but to become Ansem's newest apprentices. Okay. So they'd been breaking they, in, they, she goes missing, and that's when they go, will become apprentices to get more dirt. Okay. Seven, on the replica program and reanimation by Bexen. Vexen writes this from his bed, following his recompletion as a human, pondering his replicas. He created 20, most early ones failures. He talks about his first successes, Replica Riku and Shion, and his using them as a base for creating perfect replicas. A few days later, he finally leaves his bed, taking a walk to the square and meeting a visitor, Xemnas' right hand, who offers him the chance to regain the organization or rejoin, rather. He accepts, using this as a chance to regain access to his research and finally atone. Eight, the real organization by Vexen. Vexen talks about the members, including the reserves himself and Demix. He continues saying how whilst most are prior org members, the ones who are truly Xehanort are being kept in this time using the replicas. Vexen contemplates how he will pass on as many vessels to those who truly deserve them. So he'd been machinizing the whole time. The only reason he rejoined is because they still had his replicas in his research. Okay. Okay, right. Nine, Ansem Code Conspectus Excerpt 1 by Yenzo. Conspectus? I have no clue. Sure. Um, <laughs> I, I think so, that means summary. I think. Yeah, I'm here you for it. You should know more English than I do. No, I don't want to speak conspectuses. Yenzo discusses what we know about the boxes of hearts he found within Sora. He talks on how to return them, saying how they require vessels and a spark from those who cared for them and can show them the way home. Mm -hmm. While they can't fully recreate the hearts from the data, Twilight Town, the data memories are crucial for extracting those hearts from Sora. Conspectus, except two. <laughs> he talks about how they'll use the memories to allow the replicas to reconstruct the physical forms of the nobodies, giving them true bodies to house the hearts. So essentially... We're going to mold these clay replicas using memories from data. So they're already tailor-made and ready to accept the heart. Right. Is essentially all that is. Okay. Yep. Just make sure the replicas are good to go. Yeah. 11 observations, excerpt one, written by unknown. The writer speaks of events that will eventually see in Union Cross, to be honest. Um, that being the Keyblade War has unfolded and five... New union leaders were chosen from the surviving dandelions. Right. Wait, so in back cover, so, we had five union leaders. Yeah. They're gone. We've got five new ones, five new characters. Yeah, so remember, the dandelions were the yeah. only ones to survive the war. Right. And from them, five new union leaders. So yeah. Five new characters that we are not aware of yet, but we will learn about, I guess. One of them, Lushu will pass the Keyblade on to. One of the fives, however, is an imposter, not one that the master chose. This imposter begins a plot to allow the five to escape to another world line, similarly to how they managed to escape the Keyblade War. But the children aren't masters, haven't the means. Unless a certain lady of magic summoned from the future knows more than he does. Maleficent. Correct. That's fine. Okay, okay, sure, sure, Maleficent. Do your thing. Um, Do your thing, guys. Observations, Do excerpt two, written by Unknown. In this world line, it seems the Keyblade War never happened. However, without the masters or foretellers, a darkness arrives. He says that amidst the chaos, he bequeathed no name. So this is Lucian who's writing this one. He bequeathed no name to another, 
and the five escaped to a new world line at no small cost. Now Keybladeless, Lushu will depart, casting aside his body to see history. So this is why, like, Xehanort has no name. Now Keybladeless, Lushu will depart, casting aside his body to see history until he meets the five once more. He says that one day, a Chosen will take up his Keyblade and reenact the Keyblade War, signaling the end of his role and awakening of the Lost Masters, which of course we know is Xehanort. Excerpt 3, Unknown, Lucio. He says that his body, this name, will be his last. Seeing a Keyblade Master of Darkness take up his Keyblade, he decides to intervene as a fool, desiring the Keyblade's pastor. Fool, as in he's Zigbar, pretend, Lucio playing Zigbar as a bit of a sassy boy and pretending to be... And, and, and pretending like, oh, I want the Keyblade, mm. even though it's his Keyblade. Okay. Which is why earlier, way back in the fight, he's like, I am worthy. Mm. Yeah, um, sorry, you're who the fuck you're dealing with, mate. <laughs> yeah, um, he sit says, the fuck down. He yeah. says that at, as the completed Kingdom Hearts opens, his long vigil will reach its end, and he will return. He, oh, capital H, sort master. of idea? Capital H. Gotta be Master of Masters, yeah. yeah, 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 okay. Cool. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I can't tell. I, I physically like can't tell. Thing. What's the, okay, we've got dots on the screen. We've got ellipses on the screen. What does the ellipses mean? I mean... One more, th one more thing. One more thing. He's put one more thing on the screen, everybody. As one of the slides says, Hold "One more thing." Everyone. <laughs> what There's, is it? Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't tell you guys about this. Okay. You want to know what happened to Sora? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is he fucking alive? He fucking is, isn't he? he fucking is, of course. Self-sacrifice means nothing in this series. Sora awakens in the streets <laughs> of a modern city, Hello. looking at the empty cars and lights. Elsewhere, Riku also awakens seemingly in the same city. Oh, but, we get, okay. We get scenes of them walking about a city, which is very swiftly revealed to be Tokyo. What? That looks like a real life car. Tokyo, what, as in like our Tokyo? As in like a few, a few, you know, thousand miles away is Tokyo in, in right now, physically in this, in this, this universe we live in. Shibuya. It's Tokyo. Shibuya, 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 you lose. But this is the, the yeah. Tokyo though. It's yeah, like Square that's, Enix that's, probably has a headquarters up the road from Sora. Square, this looks very real, Chase. Square Enix is canon in this game. Holy fucking shit. So, the, so, so and Riku, not just Sora, Sora, it's Riku, that makes it so much more confusing. Sora is in Shibuya at the Scramble Crossing, looking up at the 10-4 building, whilst, which I will say, this is the one thing that causes question. In the real world, I think it's the 10-3 building. Interesting. 10-4, okay. very specifically in Square Enix. 10-4 means is, we're all good, doesn't it? Well, but specifically 10-4 is what the building is called in The World Ends With You which also takes place in Shibuya. Now, this could just be Square Enix doing it for the sake of it being yeah, Square Yeah, I think that just Shibuya. means this is our real world. Like, But, yeah. It, yeah. Right, so it's not like... So, so Sora hasn't transported into the world... I know you don't know the answer to this, I guess, right? But it's not the world ends with you. Okay, right, okay. okay. Probably not. Almost 100% certainly not. Right, okay, okay. Riku is in Shinjuku. Looking up at the Tokyo Metropolitan Building. Where's Shinjuku? Are these, are these, all, these are two all... different wards of Tokyo. Right. So Shibuya is like a big shopping district. Um, th This building is the government building in Tokyo. Right, okay. So Riku's looking up at the government building in Tokyo. He looks, the graphics look fucking great in this. Sorry, they, they, do, they look stunning, but anyway. Um, the music quiets as we see somebody from the top of the building look down on Riku. <gasps> no, it's not. It's not. It's Rex. It's what's it, Rex? Yozora. Yozora. From Rex. Rex. So they're in a video game? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Elsewhere. <laughs> Wait, okay. Elsewhere, a robed figure steps to the edge of a building. Oh, no. Why? Don't. Looking up at the moon, he raises his hands in front of it, looking through them as he forms his fingers into a box around it before shaping them into a heart. Oh, okay. And we finally, at long last, reach the end of phase one of Kingdom Hearts. Woo! Woo! Yeah!
Burns! Okay, a couple, of, couple of things. Holy shit. F- first off, I don't know if it's going to be part of your discussion topics, but first off, that's the fucking Master of Masters, the, the, the Black Robey that yes, definitely did the heart thing, yeah. right? 100%. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah, like, look at this fucking guy. He's like, oh, look at me. I'm Mr. fucking Kingdom Hearts. I love me some Kingdom Hearts, and I'm going to eat the Kingdom Hearts. Second to that, what the fuck is happening, Chase? And why are we inside a video game, but not a video game that's it's in a real, real life world. thing? Is this part of your discussion topics? There are things that it's I think very phase to two, but okay, I'll go into it anyway. Um, it is pretty much. Let me rephrase. It's very strongly implied that Sora has left the world of video games and entered the real world, like our world yeah, right our now. World. Sora could walk in right now while we're doing this. So what, wait, that wait, wait, is what, assumedly... it, what's the assumption here that the last twenty years? has been a video game. And obviously it's real for them. But does that not sort of... This is the... What seems to be the... Value the power what seems to be the core theme of Phase 2 is what is reality. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't mind that. It's interesting. I just... Con- yeah. it, it, just baffling, which I know is the point, right? But it's very baffling. So it's, to, it's to be honest, that's, that's throwing you into something that requires a lot of Phase 2 knowledge to fully understand how we got here. It's, it's um, very shocking. That's kind of like in, a conclusion a... with very little supporting yeah. evidence. And we don't have the time to go into that. Cool. So it's not, it's not, like, it's not like our reality is, is one of the globes that you fly to in the gummy ship. It's no, like another this is, plane. This is it is very distinctly separate from the Kingdom Hearts world. This, right. is, this, is, this is something else. So, the lore has been dumped. The lore has been the dumped. The lore has been dumped. We're done here. <laughs> the deuce has been dropped. We are done here. I do have uh, some discussion topics. Yeah. yeah um, what I think are kind of the, the biggest lingering threads. Mm. Um, as well as well as just things to, to theory craft on. Obviously, uh, you had a lot of theories. Some of them were wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was set on that foretellers <laughs> theory. Like, I really thought I'd crack the code there. But, but, uh, Zigbar slash Brig as Lushu. Mm-hmm. So, there is no Zigbar or Brig left in there. It has been Lushu in control yes, the whole time. 100%. But with a little bit of Nort. With a little bit of Nort. A little bit of Nort. A little sprinkle He seems cool, and he was cool with that. He was cool with being Norted. He was like, well, I guess he's, he's I guess since this guy's really powerful, yeah. Lushu, right? Uh, so assumedly, he's, like, he's probably a bit more powerful than cool. Xehanort. Like, you know me, man. It's not going to do anything. Yeah. Really fine. Cool. Now, there is some question of, does this mean that we've got a bit of Xehanort going into phase two? Yeah. Um, now I don't think that Xehanort is going to come back as the big bad. To be very clear, mm-hmm. I don't think that that's what's going to happen. Fight him again. And, but I don't even yeah. think it's going to be that. I just think that it's important to remember that there's a little bit of Nort juice hanging around in a couple people's heads going into phase two. Yeah. Um. So, what are your discussion topics? What do you have for us? So there was there was that. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, the mysterious girl in Anson's lab. Yeah, okay, right. So do you know for certain who this woman is? It's been confirmed in things that you've played and think, thought It about. has not been confirmed, but it's pretty much rock solid. We know who it is. We uh, think it's... Uh, I don't want to speak for you, but we no. think it's it's Ava. It's the missing foreteller, is, is our thought. Ava, Ava, right? Ava's the missing foreteller? That is one of the theories. Okay. Right. Um, there are two people. One of them seems more likely, and I will admit it's not Ava. Um, okay. but Ava is possible based on what we know. Okay. It could be one of the two. Okay. Um, who's the other? Do we, do we, maybe don't tell us, right? Again, I'm wary that I don't want you to spoil things for us, but do we know the other? You wouldn't. You, right. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Frankly, a lot of the, like, it's a lot of the it's answers okay. going forward are just going to be, it's Union Cross and the answer to that, it's a Union Cross character. Right. Okay. That's fine. And, well, as, well, and as we say, if people want it, we will do it. <laughs> Shout out in the comments. Yeah, you will need to ask. Um, <laughs> you will need to ask. Do this you will need to, to beg to d- wear down Monty's <laughs> brain. I, I'm very aware. Put it in the comments of every video going forward. People have wonderfully, wonderfully, and thank you for subscribing, those of you stuck with us for this long, um, and liked the video. Uh, um, but th- I'm aware that we, I now have subscribers on the channel who are Kingdom Hearts fans uh, who subscribed because of Kingdom Hearts lore dump. Like, according to my numbers, quite, quite a substantial amount. 
Um, and I'm not a Kingdom Hearts channel. Obviously. <laughs> as we've learned through Lord Tom. You have had a very long string of Kingdom Hearts videos. <laughs> yeah, I have. Because um, was, it the, I was have. it the exact three before? Was there any buffer between your three first ten minutes into uh, this? Yeah, there was the uh, Nubus Humanus Demon oh, Souls video. You're there right, was. You're yeah, right. yeah. Uh, and the next video after this will be Nubus Humanus Elden Ring. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And but then and then a critique. But you, you have been on a string of Kingdom Hearts, to be fair. I have. Um, I'm going to corrupt your channel. So it's my channel now. <laughs> <laughs> You've norted me. <laughs> oh okay. Uh, so, yeah, sorry. What was your Embrace next? Embrace the chase. Embrace the chase. <laughs> um... This one isn't so much a discussion topic, so much as a, uh, things to remember going into phase two. Uh, we've still not found out what those, uh, re remember way back Kingdom Hearts 1? Very end of the game. The, the fucking machine! The, the machine. You the haven't machine. told us what the machine does yet! And I'm not gonna tell you what the Why, machine does. Man? Because it's Union Cross. I hate you! So it's <laughs> just the one arc. of those, Am I right? That's it's the called arc. the Ark, oh. and I'll just leave it at Keep it in mind. Right, that's where the Okay, so yeah, the arc, that's how right? they traveled. That's how they yeah, traveled through time. Sure, it's a time maybe. machine. It's a, it's a literal time machine. And that's how they've been. Or they they went off, yeah. It's safe, like cryogenics, it's an arc. Yeah. Like, yeah. But fucking knows how. Right, okay, confirm, sure. Cause... Yeah. So. Up next, uh. <laughs> Dang. That, that Chirithy, though. I had to, I had to like talk over you and stop you in the finale there, yeah, as the Chirithi reappears, and I, I saw you gearing up to say something, and I had to just steamroll over what you. Was the Chirithi from back cover, tra like I, I, I think I raised this, and you, you did, you cowed out me, which is fair enough. But like, we know that Chirithis are from back cover. Yeah. We know that Chirithis haven't been about since. The, sh the not the shattering. I've got Elden Ring on the fucking brain. Uh, whatever it's called, the the break, the Keyblade War, the breaking yeah. apart of worlds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that have a name? Does that have official an official name like the shattering? Does that have a term? Um, no. Cool. It's not something people call like since remember. the shattering the or whatever. The f it was the fuckening. The fuckening. The fuckening. Yes. Since the fuckening. Um, but Chirithi haven't been about. We haven't seen them at all. Not that we know now. Sora didn't even recognize one. So no, like, no, 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 no. Uh, see, they're not like a typical Keyblade right. wielder tool anymore. Uh, so where the fuck did the Chirithi go is my question, and why is there one in the afterlife sort of whatever that... that Not only in the afterlife, because Ventus saw one in the real world. I will yeah. say it's the same one. Yeah, oh, yeah you're right. One did appear Ventus on in the saw, real world. Ventus. Yeah, that's what I meant that I was steamrolling you over, because you looked like you wanted to say something when I said oh, that. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. Okay, yeah, this is my... <laughs> thank you, thank, thank you both. This is my point, which is that at the end of June Drop Distance, you mentioned something weird, which was that... What was it? Sora cuddled the, the, the dreamers, yeah. and... I think we saw Ven cry or something, or or, or something about that. Cry or smile, I forget which one. That was it, smile. And, yeah, and yeah, yeah, so yeah. so Ven has an experience with the the the, the Chirithi or the Dream Eaters. They're the not Chirithi they're not eaters. the same thing necessarily, are they? Not Dream Eaters. Um, um, Chir Chirithi are a type of Dream Eater. Are a type. Of yeah, they, they, they are a type of Dream Eater okay. spirit. So Ven has had an experience with the Dream Eaters, which are running rampant during back cover. But Ven, Ven w existed and was like about doing things long after the age of fairy tales is that what it's called the age of fairy yeah. tales so, so so how does he have an experience with them how is he well may, maybe while he's sleeping in Sora's heart he's gone on a wee dream drop adventure i guess would you like weird? me to revisit chirithi's lines from the final world yes, yes please, please. Yeah, yeah, please. chirithi chirithi says that he's waiting for somebody who doesn't remember the past and besides, I'm sure that he's much happier with his new friends. So prior to Ven hanging out with Aqua and, and Terra then, presumably he... So, okay, so it's not while he's sleeping in Sora's heart. It's got to be prior to him. So so we know that he was on Destiny Islands, then he got... He got he did his... No, Xehanort no, machinations. No, Xehanort brought him to Destiny Islands. Oh, he brought him to Destiny Okay, so, so b b prior to Birth by Sleep, Ven has hung out with the Dream Eaters, but I don't understand... How is my question? You presumably know the answer. I presume you you would cover that if we did Union Cross and oh, stuff. I... It is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you play as Ven in in the other games at all? No, because Union Cross you're playing is like yourself, your your own insert into you are, the world. You are a self insert. In right. Union right. Cross. Oh, I do have one. Um. Oh, he's scrolling back through his PowerPoint. People, he's got all his images of all the happy boys and the edgy boys. And the dead boys. boys. Oh, yeah, fuck. What is this castle? What is this? Oh, I, okay, right. So I didn't clock it straight away, but then I saw the title at the bottom of the image. It's Daybreak Town. 
It's the Daybreak Down Tower. It's the... Why the fuck is... Do- okay, well, that makes sense, right? When... Well, um, the fucking... When the fucking happened. <laughs> um, Day- Daybreak Town had to go somewhere. Like, Agrabah went somewhere, and Hunchback of Notre Dame Land and Neverland went somewhere, so it had to go somewhere. Why is it on the bottom of Scala Icalum, though? That's weird. I don't know. Okay. But you did... You did ask, kind of, at the time, was... Did Scala Ad Kylum exist concurrently with Daybreak Town? No. It didn't. And for some reason, Daybreak Down is seemingly upside down under the water under Scala. Do you know why? I do. Okay. You've mentioned in the past that Final Fantasy is now important. Can you tell us why? Do we need to wait? So, I can tell you one thing, is that I suspect that the next game mm-hmm. will not be Kingdom Hearts 4. Right. I think that the next game is going to be Virum Rex. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. I really truly believe the next game is going to be Virum Rex. Do you think it's going to be Kingdom Hearts Virum Rex or do you think they're just going to release Virum Rex and Kingdom Hearts fans are going to go uh, woo and like random Neil is going to go I don't know uh, this is a fucking shrug on that one I don't know fuck, but... can you imagine if they do Oh my that would god. It'd be kind of badass. It'd be badass, <laughs> but my god, it'd be so it'd be back to the Kingdom Hearts bullshit of the release things being weird. And like that's the biggest problem with the series is the release schedule is so fucked. I, 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 it would be it would be badass. It would be no yeah. as a fan as, as a fan, as someone who knows the basic storyline now, yeah. you know, I would think that's badass. But if I, I would also be like fucking hell man. Yeah. Like they're doing it again. Um <sighs> So I'm, I'm, Final, I'm, King of Hearts 4 comes out and someone's like, oh, you haven't played <laughs> Virum Rex? Mm, like, what the fuck is Virum Rex, man? Yeah. Nomura uh-huh. is not only a Kingdom Hearts writer, he is also a writer for Final Fantasy. Yes, he's doing Final Fantasy 7 Remake. He did know. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, he worked on Final Fantasy 13, and he worked on Final Fantasy 15. Oh. 13 is the relevant one. Th- the, one of the worst ones. So... Th- I haven't played 13, that's all I've The thing heard. is... Sorry, I might be wrong, please. 13... Me, that's and, the pink-haired girl. And right? as you might... Yeah, Lightning. As you might know, 13 also had 13-2 and 13 Lightning Returns. Yeah. 13 was meant to have more games than that. And right. together they were called the Fabula Crystallis no- Fabula Crystal Novalis, something like that. But essentially, the next one was meant to be Final Fantasy versus 13. <gasps> Final Fantasy Versus 13 got cancelled. Oh well, 13 as in the 13 Xehanort, the 13 Pieces of Darkness, the 30, 13... the real 13. Final Fantasy Versus 13 got cancelled and was en- eventually recreated as Final Fantasy 15. Yes, okay. okay. Yozora is assumed to be a character who was originally meant to appear in Final Fantasy Versus 13 and who eventually would become Noctis uh, Kylum in Final Fantasy 15. Additionally, yeah, yeah, that yeah. pink-haired girl from the Virum Rex trailer is assumedly would eventually become uh, Luna Freya in Final Fantasy 15. It has been years since I played 15. Noctis is the main character. You play as Noctis, that is correct. right? Prince Noctis, Lucius Kylum. Okay, 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 okay. The thing to kind of... This is... Vague spoiler for Remind. This is uh, one of the endings of Remind. Remind is the Kingdom Hearts 3 It's the DLC, DLC, which is technically Phase 2, which is why we're not going into it. Right. But this is just too cool, and we asked. So, this... And frankly, I can't... I'm just going to... Viewers, you're going to have to look up the Final Fantasy Versus 13 and Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind ending comparison... You can find it very easy on YouTube. I need to show them. It's very difficult to explain this one. I will link it in the description of the YouTube video. Perfect. We are about to watch it now. We're going to come back in a second. Yeah. So we've just watched the uh, the, the the Final Fantasy versus 13 tech demo. Um, trailer. Thingy. Trailer thing. Yeah. Uh, it's very pretty. I mean, yeah, it's, and the same, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's basically the same. Yeah, we, we saw we saw the, the comparison with Remind. We still don't know what the fuck happens with Remind, I guess. But we guess we get... So Veer and Rex so- is potentially Noctis in some capacity. Potentially. Potentially. So it's it's a bit hazy, but it would seem that either he is trying to wrap Kingdom Hearts Phase 2 into his abandoned Final Fantasy project, right. or Final Fantasy is Kingdom Hearts, or Kingdom Hearts is Final Fantasy. We don't 
No. It feels like it might be more of a nod to fans that followed it that closely rather than... I don't think it is. But rather than, like, I need to play... Thir- you, need, you need to describe Final Fantasy oh, XIII oh, to me for me to understand. Yeah, probably not. Right, okay. Um, but I... Personally, and I know there's a lot of people think that there's more to it than just a nod, but we don't know for sure is kind of where it's at right now. Um, There are people who've done much more in-depth theories on this than me. Yeah, I mean, it could be anything. It could be, like, if they've been tr- if they're doing the whole Square Enix exists in this universe thing, it could be that we've left the Disney stuff and we're now into Square Enix properties, basically. No, I don't think that we're ever going to fully get out of Disney, but I do think that in the future games we'll probably see a lot more Square Enix properties. Um, now, whether that is just we have nothing but Final Fantasy Worlds, I don't know. But I do think that we're going to get a much heavier emphasis on Final or er, on Square properties in Phase 2. Um, I think it's very possible. Whilst I said that I don't think that that's the world into the world, I think it's possible we might see those characters again. It's making me... It's in, it's fascinating. It really, really is. But it's also kind of making me miss the days of Darkness Hearts, Keyblades, and Data. <laughs> like, you know? Do you remember like, when the, the Twilight Road was the thing you were most stressed the, out the, about? Legit. Like, it really is. It's, it's, it's bizarre. And I'm sure, just like anything else, you'll drag me through the dirt and at the end I'll see a clear blue sky. But, like, my God, it's... It's just never ending, isn't it? You think that you've got a grasp and then yeah. no grasp, no grasp of anything. Yeah. Nothing matters, Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So any, any more? Any I, more? I, do, I do have a couple more. Uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. is any theories on the nameless star from the final world? Yeah. Well, I, no, I was gonna um, say my assumption was Xion, but now I don't know. This is another one that we don't have an explicit answer, but we have a couple of very strong theories theories there are specifically there's two theories that one was the forerunner until remind happened and now it's feeling a bit less forerunnery and honestly we're not positive it could be Kyrie. it could be time travel shenanigans wait Kyrie's dead by this point oh no then he brings back Kyrie, and then she yeah. dies again so no Ky- Kyrie wasn't dead at that point yeah yeah but it could be time travel shenanigans it could be it could. Kyrie. Kyrie's heart or whatever it is like you know from from later when Xehanort kills her waiting for him I mean I think that the important clue there is that whoever she's waiting for um their heart has been twisted to the point where they don't remember who they are anymore so the final one um so I've I've mentioned a few times Dark Road and I've mentioned a few times that Dark Road has not finished mm. yeah. and Dark Road you play as Xehanort you play as Xehanort just Xehanort what's it gonna you play as Xehanort and there and um Ericus is there and a bunch of other students who were training with him right cool. my, my question was basically it's not Xehanort for like d- 10 minutes and then we move into a brand new character for no, the rest no, no, of the no, game you are right for the whole game. okay cool right you have a question. This is mobile stuff, yeah? It's all mobile stuff. Okay. Uh, technically, it's the exact same app as Union Cross. Um, it is technically under the Union Cross banner. Right. right. Um, it is Union Cross Dark Road. Uh, but the kind of big question, and frankly, as of right now, we don't have an answer. Right. And I'm <clears throat> expecting it to be answered in the finale of Dark Road. Where the fuck is Scala Ad Kylum this whole game series? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, it could be anywhere, man. It could just be one of the floating globes somewhere well, in space that we just haven't seen. Well, assumedly, if you had... So, remember, back to the Xehanort reports from Birth by Sleep, Xehanort knows very few Keyblade wielders. If yeah. Xehanort came from the home of the Keyblade wielders, the training grounds of them all, what happened to them all? Where are they? If he only knows of very few. So... Because there was also, and this feels vaguely retcon, is that they had listed uh, the Land of Departure as, like, the Keyblade training ground. So Scala Ad Kylum was populated, the castle at least, was populated entirely by Keyblade builders. The entire city was. The entire city was. The entire city was. So, like, nothing thousands, was- again. So, so we, have, we had previously been laboring under the idea that there was... The last time there were thousands, like the only other time that there were thousands of them, or the last time, was the Keyblade War, and then there was nothing. However, in exactly. fact, there was a middle period where, prior to there only being a couple, when we get to the Wayfinder, they made a you know, there was a comeback prior to that, exactly. at the time when Xehanort was young, and there were thousands of them again. Where the fuck are they? Exactly. It's, the, it's the Dandelions, then. The Dandelions flew away at the end of Back Cover, yeah, didn't it's, participate. It's, it's they went to form... the descendants of... Right, yeah. But... It's well, kind of where did they go? Exactly. Yeah. Where are they? Because so, if Xehanort's searching so hard, if they're searching so hard for, you know, 
13 of, I mean, seven bloody Keyblade wielders. Yeah. Where would an army of Keyblade masters not have come to stop Xehanort this whole time? Next, what's your final thing? The final is I just want to uh, give you a bit of, give you a bit of bait, bit of, here's what comes next. Sure, sure man. Uh, so, so phase two, mm-hmm. um, just to put it out there all at once, I think I've mentioned this in bits and pieces throughout the entire series, is currently comprised of four games. Right. Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, mm. the mobile game that covers years of content. Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, which is the DLC, and covers everything between when Sora went to rescue Kyrie up until when the credits on Kingdom 3 rolls. Right, right. So it's him rescuing Kyrie essentially. Okay. And you're going to play as Kyrie. It's great. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dark Road, which of course we know isn't finished yet and covers um, the training of Xehanort. And then finally, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, which is a rhythm game. Uh, Very minor lore. I said this off camera to you is whilst currently it holds very crucial pieces of lore, um, it's like one or two pieces. Um, And I think that you won't inherently need to play that one when future games come out. I think that it, it it's kind of pieces that will just be explained, like they'll need to be explained in future games. You can't really get around not knowing what they are in the future games. Yeah. And, and these are all, these all sound like set up. It sounds like phase two hasn't officially kicked off yet. You know, it all so, sounds like it's building to kind of, right. I would say that union cross is definitely proper phase two, right? Because phase two, Despite which it being a prequel, Exact, because Phase okay. 2 is the Foreteller Saga. It is the machinations and plans of the Master of Masters and his apprentices, which is the entirety of Union Cross. Mm. So I'd say that it is a plan spanning from all the way then until the present, and we have seen the first half. We've seen the past of the plan, and now we need to see the current and future of the plan. And we see at the end of Union Cross, presumably, or at some point in Union Cross, we see... How, how what in whatever way the foretellers manage to stop that story and reappear in Kingdom Hearts 3. We do not. We don't know how they got we there. Currently have no clue how why is, is or, we know why, but we don't know how they appear in Union Cross. Is Union Cross done? Union Cross is done as of about six months ago. Okay. Well, Union Cross has at this point finished. Cool. Um it had a really fucking good ending. Cool. Holy shit, that ending was good. Yeah, um, and yeah, just kind of, I, I think, leave us off here. Boop. What's, this is a pic, you've, you've put a, leave this, here. this is a picture of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Dark Road, right? This is Okay, Hearts. so we have got on left the hand side. left hand side, we have got, is that Marluxia in the background with a yeah. flower? And then we've got the, the, um, what's his name? Uh, uh Scarf Curly Hair Boy. Ephraimer. Um, that's Ven. Ven. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's Ven, and it's that's the, the 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 wee Cherithy. Um, not sure who the others are. Yeah, no idea. And then on the right, right hand side, we've got young Xehanort and young Ericus, and then presumably some uh, some backstory people. Cool. Uh, as always, the art style is fucking stunning. Um, Nort looks jacked. Why is he so jacked? I know. He's got biceps on his biceps. I don't know what the fucking deal is there. Um, also, that's brain. 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 Is he brain. Not brain and brain in the same it's, series. It's brain and he's got a nice hat. Okay, okay we're, we're good. I think we're good. We've done it. 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 We've done phase one. Phase one complete. We're, 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 we, we did it. We, we, we beat Kingdom Hearts. Bist led a reaction on... This, yeah, a bit less of a reaction on two of the people on the left side than I would have hoped. But. Well, I don't know who you, the fuck, what? Roby with a fucking flower. Marluxia we spotted. This guy doesn't mean anything. I mean, it was more the fact that Marluxia was there at all. Yeah, why is Marluxia there, actually? That's a long, long time ago, isn't oh, it? I forget. I forget <laughs> that we're talking thousands <laughs> yeah, of years. This is thousands of years ago. Why is Ven there why thousands ben of there? years ago? Like, Ven yeah. you picked up quite clearly. And from remember that Marluxia has yeah, a why the fuck legacy. Is, yeah, why is Marluxia there? Uh, they got they got in the hyperbolic time chamber and they fucking flew flew through through time and space. It's fun. Look, you... damn it.
You've got us vaguely yeah. interested. I will need people to to request this to push me over the edge. I oh, was interested, not anymore. Spam it on every single one of his videos going forward. <laughs> Elden yes. Ring, nah. Kingdom Hearts, baby. I hate this. Okay, yeah, no, I don't. I, I've had I've had a, a surprising amount of fun. Oh this has gosh. been an absolute blast. I, I I would like to, if it's all right, I would like to take a minute to thank you both. Firstly, Chase. Um, I, 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 speaking as someone who just has to turn up on the day and 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 listen, um, I would like. I mean, listeners, I'm sure you can tell how much work Chase puts into this. Mm. The amount of writing, the slideshows that you will see in the videos. I mean, hundreds of slides. It's it's truly so much work, and uh, so thank you very much for that, and for and for for genuinely making me care about this. Always always happy to drag people into the depths <laughs> of this series, and and also of course to Monty for for hosting us, and for all the editing for the truly <laughs> tens of hours of editing that you do, um, and and lastly thank you to the listeners and the viewers yes. because the I I and the commenters is but yes. I I and I think I don't want to speak for you guys I've been like truly taken aback by how lovely uh the the, the feedback no, has definitely. been it's yeah. been really it's been really really lovely I think we expected this to get a sort of modest um amount of feedback and it's been uh, it's been wonderful really yeah. so thank you so much for listening and we will catch you in phase two sure hell yeah <laughs> see y'all later thanks for listening